Okay. We have one held item. It's Kangas Gun Shed Shell. So I can switch out of Gothitelle. No held item. Halucha, no held item. We want Palt in slot 2. So that Palt is baiting Venomoth after Gothitelle dies instead of Flapple. Kangas kind of outspeeds Gothitelle and is not dead to Crocodile. This is very important. My Dragapult's clear body. So we'll fake out Gothitelle. We need this chip. Because our Phantom Force barely does not do enough after Flame Chip. Let's go back again. We fake out Gothitelle. And we Phantom Force Gothitelle. We are still faster than plus one Gothitelle. Crookedot doesn't see any kills, so it should go for Fling again. And we swap into Halucha. Please go for Fling again. Perfect, okay. Crookedot still doesn't see any kills. So it's going to go for Fling again while we Acrobatics this Venomoth. Venomoth is Citrus Berry. Acrobatics always kills. And then we're going to swap to Haunch Grow here. We need to chip Crook here. This is a range on Flapple. If Flapple doesn't die, it's okay. We hit the range, that's fine. We needed to maximize our Tailwind turns here. There's no item knockoff actually enough. Min is 40, plus 260, that is enough. So we will close combat Crocodile here while Honchakro Tail wins. Perfect. Now in Tailwind, we outspeed both of these. So we acro plus knockoff. We don't Sucker Punch in case Delphox goes for Hypnosis. Now 
Maui Acrobatics plus... One sec. I actually need to make sure... Okay, Acro always just kills. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I need to make sure I don't accidentally proc, proc the Salak Berry. Because if I proc the Salak Berry, it outspeeds my Honchkrow and can, like, kill my guy. So actually, I'm going to Sucker Punch here. There we go. Acro always killed there, but, you know, it was a little spooky. There we go. Has three gym trainers down. Almost damageless. If the Flappa would have gone for slow kill over um, Sucker Punch seeing it was dead, this would have been damageless, which would have been really funny. Okay. This next fight, I like have stuff, but I don't. I'm nowhere near to solving it. This next one seems pretty hard, and I don't. The Cinderace puzzle here seems fucking impossible too so let's see Hannah and Sylvia and then I think Clifford and Macy shouldn't be too bad because that is kind of a meme double battle um, so hopefully I can get my Urshifu today, because I already have TNL. Like, I've had TNL kind of prepped, cooked, what have you, for, um, like, over a month, basically. Because, uh, it shouldn't be hard with my box. I have Pult, uh, I'm gonna Candy Ape twice, uh, I'm gonna steal the leftovers, and I'm gonna Sack two. It's going to be five mons, I'm going to sack two of them. <laughs> so. Television. It might be six, because it would be five if I scaled Pult Attack to get Metagross out last. But I don't think I'm going to scale Pult Attack to get Metagross out last. I think instead I'm going to bring Prim in the back or something. So I can switch back into Dragapult, the Dragapult Pokemon. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I'll, you know, figure it out. Um, let's see here. So this right here, Iron Ball Blaziken, is a good lead. Because it's getting Hammer Arm and Psychic Fast Kill. I want it in slot 2, most likely. And then I have a Bruxish in slot 1. You know it's up exact science. I'm getting... I'm almost at late game, finally. I've been on this run for like 2 months. Hell yeah. I'm uh <laughs> 
So formal. Um, these are double battles, and they're gym trainers. So um, battles and gyms automatically heal you when you enter them, which makes double battles harder because I can't use like pre-damage strategies to like bait kills and stuff more easily. Um, so like for example, this this line would be this fight would be so much easier if I could bait a thunderbolt kill from Meow Stick, right? But like. I can't pre-damage my Corviknight to bait a Thunderbolt kill here, because it has to be full health, which makes these fights a lot harder. Um, so, this might take a couple hours. But I have a good guy right here, because he's underleveled. I can go Iron Ball to have my speed, so that I underspeed this uh, big Conkleder right here. And I'm getting Hammer Arm and Psychic, which is good. And I have Protect. And then you just kill Conkleder, which is good. And then you bait move from Gyarados. And what I found here is I can go Electrode in slot 1. And I can go Hydreigon in slot 2. I'm going to level up my Hydreigon. Because Hydreigon will take... Nope, no pre-status either. Because you just get completely healed. So it, like limits certain things that you can do which makes double battles a lot harder because like when you can do that stuff you can control the ai a lot better because the ai will go for kills and all this other stuff right um and so when you can control the ai better obviously double battles are a lot easier so people have gone whole streams doing zero fights in this gym but my box is pretty good, so I'm hoping I can beat the gym today. I have three fights left. And then the gym leader. So. So, after we kill the big conk, I'm baiting Psychic and random move Gyarados. I live crit. And it never puts me in range of Meowstic here. And I'm immune to Psychic. So I can go Lumberry in case of Bounce Para. And then I'm here with a Magnet. I can kill with Thunderbolt. Uh, Meowstic will see no kills. So Imprison is going to have the highest score. And it's going to try and Imprison my Thunderbolt. But I'll be able to use Thunderbolt before it uses Imprison here. So I can kill Gyarados with Thunderbolt while Meowstic uses Imprison. And I can U-turn on Meowstic and break its Sash. This is an insanely good lead that I have. But the problem is, is I've killed two and I've used four slots. <laughs> um, and the endgame sweep against this Melodic is a pain in the ass because it's really bulky and then the Perugly is really fast as well. So it's a little annoying. Um, so let's take a look. At what I can do here. Um, too much. So I can Volt Switch. Right, I'm U-turning, and I could U-turn into something. And then the next turn... The problem is next turn is now Meowstic is using, like, I'm not controlling Meowstic, yeah? It's not, doesn't have any moves to use, like, that it, it it's going to randomly target based on highest damage, yeah? It's like, do I even want a U-turn? Because I could bait a kill from Rapidash. But... That just doesn't seem good, yeah? I could Electric Gem Volt Switch here, but that sounds bad too. So like Thunderbolt. And then I can Volt Switch on Rapidash, and I can have a guy out, right? Rapidash doesn't see a kill here either, though. So the problem is Rapidash is also targeting randomly, yeah? Oh, what if I do this? I'm baiting high horsepower here. So what if instead... How many levels do I need to go up? To not bait high horsepower? 
Does it matter? Actually, it doesn't matter that I'm baiting high horsepower, yeah? Because I'm immune to two of these moves. So actually, I could U-turn back into Blaziken. I'm, I'm the slowest thing here, too. Because this guy dies to Thunderbolt. This uses Imprison. I U-turn back into Blaziken. I'm showing fast kill here and fast kill here. So then Blaziken can protect while Electrode Volt switches on Rapidash. I could go here, yeah? On the Volt switch. And then I'm still baiting Zen high horsepower and Psychic here, and I can swap back into High Dragon because nothing sees a kill on Scissor while I Iron Head Rapidash here to kill it. And now I'm being targeted randomly is a problem, yeah? It's going to be Thunderbolt into either slot, though, right? So what if I go Lum here? Because I live a Thunderbolt, right? And I still kill with Iron Head after Volt Switch Ship. So I can go Lum here. And I can knock off Meow Stick to kill it while I swap you into someone. Like you. This is an option, yeah? I think this is close. The problem is this melodic's really annoying. Um, so the problem is, is I can't reliably U-turn here because there's a chance I take a bounce and get paralyzed, right? And if this Thunderbolt pairs me and I get full paralyzed, I'm like in a weird fucking spot, yeah? So I think I swap here. But I need to remember what my slots are, right? So I'm here, here, I'm here, here. I uh, U-turn into you, you're in slot two. I Volt switch into you, you're in slot one. And I kill while I swap here. So you're slot one, you're slot two. Yeah? So I'm you in slot two, you in slot one. So I'm baiting off a scissor. Um, and melodic faster deals more than it takes. Perugly faster deals less than it takes. So this is melodic here. And I have electrode out. And I'm showing a fast two hit KO so it can't coil. But it can Hypnosis, which is fucking annoying, yeah? I can Thunderbolt while I swap to Dragapult. The problem is, is this can just Hypnosis, so I can't go Boosting Item. I have to go Lum, yeah? So, like, as cool as Scissor is to kill this thing, I don't think it's the play. Because it puts me in a really weird endgame situation. Because Melodic comes out, and, like, I can't, like... I can Thunderbolt, and I swap here... And then, like, dart, double darts, I guess. And then, like, Perugly's here. It's going to fake someone out. S Scissor Dragapult wins in this situation, yeah? So, like... Uh... 
my problems. Oh, she's right. Who's got a Minus speed lop, and he really not helping me at all here, yeah? Um... I need to do more than 64.9. It's not enough more, though. And you, you're just slower and, like, dead to Psychic here, so I can't even go you and, like, Poison Jab, yeah? <sighs> like, my options for killing this thing are limited. I need a guy that does a lot of damage and isn't dead to either of these two, so it kind of has to be Scissor, yeah? And, like, if I had a fucking Flame Orb, man... I'd crush. But I don't. Not meant for each other. <laughs> so this is an option. You need magnet. I think this is fine though, yeah? It's like, let's put it this way. You're out. It can't coil. I thunderbolt and I swap you. If it muddy waters, I win. If it hypnosis is you, I win. The problem is we end up in like this situation, yeah? Where this might see a throat chop kill. No, because if it muddy waters, I just win, yeah? And muddy water crit never puts me in throat chop range. What's up, Noxie? Oh, I do a fuck ton of damage to this guy. And if it sees a kill and doesn't go for fake out, I just fucking kill. I think I can make this work. This end game might be a bit funky, but I think this works. I kind of have to. Okay. Sorry, you're back to the bench, Kangaskhan.
Oh, blaze again. You. 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 Okay. Muscle band. Magnet. I could just go cherry berries or whatever, but I'm going lum. I have a bunch of them. Lum. Lum. I need to level some guys up. Okay. <clears throat> Muscle band, your iron ball. Leveling up shouldn't matter. You're still going to bait kills. We swap you on psychic plus um, bouncer waterfall. Which is why you have the Lumberry in case of bounce. And in this situation, you're never baiting a kill from Meow Stick. So I can Thunderbolt kill Gyarados. Oh, you still have Thunder. I'm going to Magical Leaf, you have Thunder. Um. This should be fine. 26, okay. I'm actually going to teach Magical Leaf over Thunder. I have infinite Magical Leaf TMs and Thunder as a tutor. Okay, you kill Conkle there. We double swap because you're being double targeted. I can kill, and you can U-turn into. You don't U-turn into Scissor. You U-turn into Blaziken, who's showing double fast kill, and that gives us a free swap into Scissor when he protects, and then Scissor kills while I swap into High Dragon on moves it's immune to. And then High Dragon swaps for Electrode while Scissor kills Meowstic with Knockoff. And I swap Pult for the Scissor slot while Electrode attacks Melodic with Thunderbolt. And that endgame should be winnable no matter what happens. Okay. I gotta remember, when I U-turn on Hydragon, I want to go back into Blaziken. That was the wrinkle I was missing when I was looking at this yesterday. Level 85, Muscle Band. Blaziken is level 75 with an Iron Ball to show double fast kill to prevent Fake Out from happening. You have a Magnet and Magical Leaf. You're level 85 with a Lumberry. You have a Lumberry. And you have a Lumberry. Okay.
Okay, Blaziken is showing both of them kills, so Meowstic cannot fake out, and Conkeldur will not mock punch Bruxish. Strongjaw, Muscle Band, Psychic Fangs kills Conkeldur. And Blaziken can protect. Perfect. That level up does not matter, I'm still baiting kills. Yep. Now we get a free swap into Electrode on the Bruxus slot, and they're still both targeting the Blaziken slot. So we can go into Hydreigon on the Bla Blaziken slot. Just give me Waterfall. Okay, bounce, that's fine. Perfect. Okay. Meowstick doesn't see any kills. I forgot that uh, Gyarados has Protect. I'm not showing Gyarados a kill here. Let's try this. We will Thunderbolt, and we will still do this. Okay, thank god it didn't protect. I got lucky there. I think it was like still fine, it was just weird. So now Meowstic's going to imprison. And we go back into Blaziken. I didn't realize this Gyarados had Protect. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. So now they both see a fast kill into Blaziken. And I can Volt Switch Rapidash to break its Sash. And I can Protect with Blaziken. I go into Scissor with a Lumberry. Scissor with Iron Head will kill this Rapidash. They see no kills on Scissor. They still both see fast kills on Blaziken, but Hydragon is immune to every move that they can kill Blaziken with this health. Now we kill with knockoff or we swap into electrode. That's fine, this is why we have a lumberry. This should bring out Melodic, and it cannot coil because I see a fast 2-hit KO with Electrode. Perfect. This is where we have to kind of navigate in endgame. We're going to go Pult. And we're going to Thunderbolt. If it goes for Hypnosis into Dragapult, we kind of just win. Perfect. This is why we went Lum.
We Dragon Darts and we Thunderbolt. We Dragon Darts and we Thunderbolt. It's gonna fake out Electrode, it's okay. I feel bad about that. I got lucky. Um, there's like steering recourse, but I think I'd end up sacking like Bruxish in the steering, but like, you know, whatever. I don't think it w Gyarados protecting there was a wipe angle. Genuinely, because I would have Blaziken out baiting kills. I could Volt Switch into something that doesn't bait any kills. And then kill, and then like swap to High Dragon, and then like sack something. Like, I had options if Gyarados protected, but that line wasn't very clean because I forgot that Gyarados could protect. And that kind of sucks. So, in this next fight, Hisui and Arcanine pops the fuck off. The problem is, is mine is minus speed nature, so it does not. You need to at least be neutral speed nature and have good speed. Which you could scale. Um, but my Hisui and Arcanine is a minus speed nature, so it actually does not outspeed Excadrill and does not pop off in this fight, next fight, so I have not looked at this fight at all, this is gonna be, this fight's gonna probably be some hot ass. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I just can't say what I said. I miss you. I'm busy. I need not to feel it. I can get you out of my head. See, so this is why neutral with like you know, 29 speed or whatever, even 28, absolutely fucks this fight up. You're not dead to Crobat. You fucking Oko Excadrill with Flare Blitz. And the hard part of this lead is you need a way to fucking kill this guy. Like, fast kill this guy. <laughs> and, like, bait acro from this guy, right? It's like, I have this guy to bait acro, right? The problem is, like, I'm dead to, like, EQ. So, like, how am I going to kill this guy with EQ? Ground gem earthquake, right? I actually have something really good for this, though, now that I look at it. This says Mold Breaker, so Levitate isn't going to work, yeah? But you know what is going to work? The Flying Typing. The problem is, I am dead to Crobat. If I could unburden my guy, this fight would be free. Because I would just go like Halucha and just 
absolutely fuck up everyone, yeah? But I can't. So I need to figure out how the fuck I'm killing this Excadrill. You're dead to Acro. And Hydragon just doesn't deal enough damage for this fucker, yeah? Crobat's also inner focus, so you can't just fake him out. Baby, let's not get lost. I'm you're driving slow. My fingers crossed that maybe you'll take the long way home. I have no clue how I'm supposed to fucking start this fight. I'll be honest with you. I absolutely have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> uh. With two scales, I could lead Bruxish with fucking Mystic Water. Unfortunately, I don't have those kind of scales. <laughs> I have one scale left. And I could do this, but then I'm still dead to Crobat. So it doesn't really work. You're driving slow. My fingers crossed that maybe I'll take the long way home. Also, if you don't show this guy a kill, he's just gonna tailwind. Like, I have absolutely no fucking clue what I'm doing here. I'll be honest with you. Like, I. What the fuck do I do? Um. Because again, my guys that kill him are all just fucking dead to Crobat, yeah? Um... Like, god, minus speed Ar I have not really cared too much about having minus speed Arcanine until, like, right now. I'll be honest with you. Like, this fucking hurts. Me from LA hallucinations. Ok, 
can fill me up. There's a little black hole in the blowing cup. So you know. And then, like, regular Houndoom is just straight up dead to acro, right? So I can't even, like, if I could come in at, as Mega Houndoom, actually, this would be insane, yeah? But, like, regular Houndoom, straight up dead to acro. With this flying gem. So I can't even go, like, oh, I'm going to do fucking regular Houndoom bullshit, yeah? And fast kill this guy. Like, what the fuck do I do? Um... So this is an option, yeah? I can slow kill with Ursaluna. The problem is, is I'll be dead to CC here, right? So I have to find a switch in for CC. And then fucking Acro plus Zen. I guess which would be like Magnezone, yeah? But then, if I'm not showing Crobat another Acrobatics kill, yeah? Um, he's just gonna fucking Tailwind on my ass, yeah? And then what the fuck do I do? with this goddamn Cinderace. So, the fight after this is a bit of like a gimmick meme fight. So, I'm not super worried about it. This one's just like, I have, how do you even start? <laughs> um, Come to me, dreams of that. I love this song. Wish that I could change, but not for me, for you. So we could be together forever. And then I'm just dead to crit EQ here, so I can't even be like, oh, I'm gonna lead like you and like fucking mud shot or some shit, yeah? You, you, and like bro is mold breaker. Just hit the thunder forehead? It doesn't matter if I don't have guts here either. Like, I guess I'd kill you with Ursaluna, and then... I can level you up so that you're never dead to CC, yeah? Can I even? I can't even level this guy up so he's never dead to CC here. That's insane, okay?
Also, this is Focus Sash Medicham. So what the fuck do I do? You come to me in dreams about Don't you know it hurts for a reason Time to take you back to believing What the fuck do I even do, man? I've, like, never felt this lost on a fight in my life. Unfortunately, my Kangaskhan is too high level for this. Because there is the option of I can fake out Excadrill and sack a guy to Crobat, yeah? Well, you kill. The problem is, is I... <sighs> I can't, right? Like... I would need a guy faster than Crobat if I wanted to beta kill into Crobat and like lower Excadrill's speed, yeah? Like, oh, I rock tomb him or whatever. But like, I would need a guy faster than Crobat to do that, of which I have zero. Right? Don't you know it hurts for a reason? Like, I could. Kecleon isn't even fucking always dead, yeah? But, like, maybe I should have figured out something else for the crocodile double so I could have uh, kept my Kangaskhan low enough to just sack him here. Because I don't, like, what else can I do to lower speed or flinch him, yeah? I don't have any other fakeouts. I have you. That would be an insane sack in my opinion, though. Just in my humble opinion, this would be an insane sack. So how else can I kill this guy? Like, this is my best bet, yeah? And every time I'm going to get out fucking Medicham. And then I need a guy that switches into Acro, CC, and Zen Headbutt. Possibly. If I could guarantee this wasn't CC here, this would be great. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee this won't be CC. There's this option. The problem is with 
No, I have a sound-based move, actually. So Excadrill cannot substitute. Actually, this might be huge. I have Clanging Scales, so Excadrill can't substitute on me. Right? And I can kill it with high horsepower while I protect with you, because you're baiting acro, actually. Yeah. The thing is, is after EQ, I'm like... Ursa Luna is just like dead to random ass move from Cinderace, yeah? Because, like, what I could do. I couldn't actually. But. Como O is never dead to either of these guys, actually. Right? So I actually could go Sticky Barb. I don't have to go Sticky Barb, excuse me. I go Citrus Berry, yeah? So this is always CC from Medicham. This might be the play. This is always CC from Medicham, yeah? And this thing is sashed, which sucks. But, because I went Sticky Barb to... I went Citrus, because I'm taking an EQ on the chin. And if this thing, like, crits me or whatever, I'm always high enough HP... That it's CC fast kill from Medicham here. And Medicham will see no kills here, but Crobat will still see an acro kill here. So what what can I do now? Whatever comes in on CC needs to be fucking dead to acro. Right? So what can I switch in on CC that's dead to acro? I can switch in Halucha on CC. And with no more flying gem, I'm still dead to acro. But this doesn't really work, because what can I switch into acro that's then just not dead to fucking CC for Medicham, yeah? Like, nothing. Because, like, the ideal situation, then, would be I swap in you. Right? On CC... The problem is, is CC does not deal enough damage to always proc a Citrus Berry. Because if I could do that, that'd be insane. Right? And get Unburden. Um. Okay. Lo fi Pokemon. See, right. So I like have the first guy killed, <laughs> and I'm like baiting. Two different movies from two different people. So this gets weird, yeah? Because I always need Crobat to be dead. Or Crobat to be seeing a kill. Otherwise, he's just going to fucking tailwind. And unfortunately, Primarina here is just always... It's, it's dead to even, like, raw EQ here. So I can't just, like, slow Encore this guy in the fucking Tailwind or whatever. Um, as, like, another option. So who can come in on CC? 
You, I need to level you up. My slow bro lives acro crit. And after what? It takes 154. My slow bro is not dead to another acro though, after non crit acro. Because of the fucking flying gem man. It's insane. Um, because like you come in on acro, and then you're baiting CC here every time, right? So I guess what I could do is I go you, uh, and then I'm getting like CC from you, yeah. And I come here. Bro no longer has flying gem, yeah? The problem is, is, if he screeches me or super fangs me, I'm just dead to, like, regular acro here at this point, yeah? But he shouldn't. He should tailwind this turn. Right? But then, this guy outspeeds me. <laughs> and that's bad. Well, here's an option. If we go Sticky Barb... On this acro, right? We take this acro, and then this guy gets a Sticky Barb. And if we went here... His acro still does a fuck ton of damage. If we go here on CC, we're just dead to Thunder Punch anyway. Right, because we need to take a CC. It's like, who comes in and takes a fucking CC, man? Not you. You do. And you aren't baiting acro kill, actually. After a CC, because acro only deals 120. God, my, bait, my HP is so ass. 198 minus 68. 
130, yep, okay. So we can go Sticky Barb here on the acro, and we can come here. We already went Sticky Barb here, though. We went Citrus, excuse me. We didn't go Sticky Barb. We went Citrus because we're taking an EQ while we kill this guy. And then this is Medicham, Fast Kill, Never Zen, Always CC. And we can come here on CC. And now he's like minus one, minus one, right? Crobat has a sticky barb. And he's going to tailwind here. While Medicham goes for CC fast kill into Magnazone. I do get Rock Tomb, so if I go Rock Tomb, he goes minus one, gets Tailwind, and is faster than me, which is fine, actually. Is it? What if I just Leech Life in Tailwind? Yeah, I need a minus one. So I'm getting Zen Headbutt here, and I have a free swap here while he Tailwinds, yeah? He has Sticky Barb. The problem is I am dead to Acro Crit here. I could scale defense, not be dead to Acro Crit, but I'm dead to one roll, like a couple rolls of like Acro Crit. Um... Uh, so like, I don't know what the fuck Crobat's doing is the problem. He's like also just still faster than me. Um You know how easy this fight would be? <laughs> if I could like pre status my Halucha in the unburden it would be awesome, actually. I have absolutely no clue where to start. Well, here he has a sticky barb. So he's not going to want to acro me. And if I go to minus two defense, and I still live acro crit, if he screeches me, if he super fangs me, I still live acro crit. Yeah. I want my sticky bar back is the big thing. Right? Because I'm here on CC. It's like I can give this guy a sticky bar, but like, does that? do anything for me um 
Because I would like to get it back, ideally, yeah? Man, Mina's defense is some ass here. It actually changes so much. Fucking 202 versus 181 is insane, by the way. Look at this. I'm dead to, like... Look at this. I'm dead to 31% of crit rolls if I'm because I'm minus defense. If I'm just fucking neutral, like <laughs> I live crit on like 20 HP. It's insane how much more damage I take because I'm fucking minus defense on the slow bro. Like the slow bro, it's a slow bro, but it's 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 some giga ass being minus defense plus speed. Like hasty has got to be the worst slow bro nature. I don't care. Like you could say adamant. Hasty is. Got to be the worst slow bro nature. This is some hot ass. <laughs> the speed helps me literally zero. Like, ugh, goddamn. This is this is a giga ass slow bro. Oh, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> I'm not dead. What if I just hard swap here immediately on acro? Right? And give this guy sticky barb immediately instead of protecting turn one, yeah? Eh, -eh. this, like, I'm just, could just be baiting Medicham kills. Because Medicham does, like, honestly unfair amounts of damage. I'm not going to lie. But, um,. And unfortunately for me, you are just dead to acro. I could scale defense <laughs> on you <laughs> and click tailwind <laughs> to turn one <laughs> while I bait EQ <laughs> acro into Blaziken, yeah? Then what? Like, what the fuck do I do then? Um... Why couldn't I just have a little bit less defenses or something? So I could show acro kill into you and just fucking volt switch for a chip. He can't sub, though. Because I... Right? Like, you shouldn't be able to at all, because I have clanging scales.
I actually am extremely fucking lost here. Jesus. Okay. I have a minus speed Hisui and Arcanine, Connor. So like it like I can't even do like I can't this guy doesn't go off in this fight because I'm minus speed. This has been like the first real instance where I was upset that I was brave nature. Like plus attack has been insanely valuable. Um so what what Hamilton does is if you are neutral speed and have at least like twenty seven or something, twenty eight. Um, you're not dead to acro, and you just can fast kill Excadrill, which is huge, right? And then, uh, you you can be dead to, like, you know, Medicham here, or if you're, like, 31, you can outspeed Medicham, so you're never actually dead to CC either. Like, if you're 31 speed neutral here, right? Like, you can then bait Medicham out, and it's gonna CC the other slot, for example, or use a move on the other slot, because, like, if I have Como o -O, or like uh, Blaziken here, yeah. On this slot, and then I have like neutral 31 Hamilton. Right? I'm not dead, and I can just like Flare Blitz this guy, and then I can swap in on some moves, and I can kill him next turn. And then like Cinderace comes out. Doesn't see any kills. And you, you don't even have to go, like, charcoal. You can go, like, zoom lens or something, right? And then if you're baiting... Like, obviously, you need guys to, like, bait this, right? But then, like, you could bait Pyro Ball and then let Crobat do whatever, right? And then you just, like, fucking zoom lens head smash this guy when he uses Pyro Ball, for example. Like, there's just a lot... Like, outspeeding Medicham by one is really nice because you can just kill it. <laughs> while you bait the other side, right? And then, like, the fight is in a much easier position. But when I'm minus speed here, like... Yeah, Hammy pops off here. If you... You might have to scale speed, but as long as you're not minus speed, like, Hammy pops the fuck off here. But I'm minus speed, so I'm just, like, straight up dead to Excadrill. I think what Pichow did is he led, like, a fighting type with, like, Fake Out. He led a fighting type with Fake Out, and because his Arcanine was minus speed, and he faked out Excadrill and just let the fighting type die to Crobat with Sticky Barb, so that Crobat had Sticky Barb now, and saw less acro damage, killed it, and then, like, went to Salazzle and, like, slow Encore Tailwind or some shit. Yeah, something like that. Exactly. And I just... I don't have any, like, guys that can really do that, obviously. What I do have is I have an interesting lead, but, like, from here, I don't know what the fuck. So, like, Como O has clanging skills, so Excadrill shouldn't be able to sub, right? I don't know if that's different in doubles, but I have clanging skills. This is a sound-based move. Right? Yeah, so he shouldn't be able to sub. I don't know if it looks at both slots and doubles, though, and it's like, oh, I don't have a sound base move on Ursa Luna or whatever, so... But it should be... I just have one sound base move, so he can't sub. And I'm baiting Acro here, and I just take EQ uh, on the Ursa Luna here with Citrus, and I kill with high horsepower, and then I'm baiting, like, fast kill CC here, and then, like, fast kill Acro here, Right? Yeah, I don't I don't know, but like if that's how it works, right? Then I'm baiting like fast kill CC on this slot and then fast kill acro here. And I could go to like Magnezone with like a sticky barb or something. So that this guy stops seeing insane acro damage. And then like what the fuck do I go in on CC here, right? Because what's gonna happen is is he's not gonna see any kills now and he's just gonna like tailwind, right? So like what can I bring in on CC here that can like do stuff to Medicham. It's sashed, so like once it gets tailwind up, it's gonna be insane, right? Um 
this is where something like Yan Mega, I feel like, would be kind of hype, but I mine died, right? So like I'm, it's weird. Um, like I could go you on CC or something, right? And like then what? I've not used Mega Altaria in a fucking minute. Because I'm minus speed. Um, yeah, but it was a really good protect guy. It died on Route 121 because I made a mistake. So, like, that's where I feel bad about it. If I, like, sacked it, I'd feel way better. But it died to a mistake on 121. Yep, so did I. I lost 2 to 121. And then I lost my Crocodile and Pyre to the um, Meteor Beam Behem. Because I was like, oh yeah, Knockoff just kills here. But I forgot it didn't have the Power Herb anymore. So Knockoff did not kill. And I lost Crocodile, which was some ass. Yep. Yeah. I'll show you. My death box is really silly. Um, so. I sacked him to, Nor to Watson. Because, I mean, fuck this guy. I wanted a grass type from Verdant Turf. And I got this fucker. Fuck this guy. I'm, I sacked him to Watson. Breloom was a planned sack to Norman. Um, my only, like, realistic way to, like, do di get Diggersby and Chinchino was Breloom kills Azu, and then it, I had early Black Belt, so, like, Black Belt mock punches Diggersby, so then Ape could come in and fake out mock punch kill to prevent Ape from taking quick attack damage, um, which changed baiting. Uh, and stuff, and it, it would have let Ape come back in on uh, like, so like Goss was going to lower the speed of um, Chinchino and then Ape could come back in, right? So the problem is I got Truck Attacked turn one. So if I got Truck Attacked turn one, instead of using Infernape on the Chinchino, I would use Hariyama on the Chinchino and then just sack it to Azu. Because I got truck attack, so Chinchino saw fast go. So I'd, and then I just sack this to Azu. Um, you come in, and then I'd sack you to Diggersby. Ape kills Diggersby, and my line is like back intact, right? The problem is, is my uh, I swapped in on I was max attack, so it wasn't a range with Persim. So I went Persim. I swapped it on Hurricane, got confused, and then uh, Ape Persim. And clicked rock slide, got hurricane again, got confused, and I hit self against the Pidgeot. <laughs> um, and this was after Starmie clutched up on Meloetta. So then these two guys ended up dying because I needed to steer on Pidgeot because Arcanine got double confused into hit self on the Mega Pidgeot. So I needed to lower its speed and then chip it with Starmie so that, Ar so that uh, Arcanine could outspeed and kill. <laughs> so originally it was this was just the one plan death if I got truck attacked it was these two and then I got double confused into hit self so I lost four on Norman and then I was deathless until uh, this was um what a strange steam double I just like forgot that unburden and emergency exit weren't going to work <laughs> on that fight so I lost Crawdont there this was breeder pat um, on Breeder Miles, I tried to eject on Hydreigon to kill with Halucha, and the Hydreigon clicked Nasty Plot instead, because <laughs> I forgot it could do that. So I sacked Yan Mega there. These two were LCR. This was the Pyre mistake. These were Pyre Tag. These were Tabitha, and then these were Maxi. This was because I forgot Sheer Force couldn't activate... Uh, emergency exit on Aqua Hideout Grunt 1, and then these three were because I just, like, made a really dumb mistake on Aqua Hideout Grunt uh, with the Omastar. And I was like, oh, Dragon Darts deals 50%. 
there's two darts, that kills this Omastar. So I just lead Pult and just raw dragon darts the Omastar with double hazards. Um, and lost three. <laughs> and then this was Matt. So my death box, like, th th these guys are whatever. This Starmie was sick, actually. I would have liked to keep this guy. I bet you this guy could have popped off. Uh, obviously, Goss is bad, um, but like, I'm down. I've got. F I'm down four grass types. My only grass type is Electrode Hisui, <laughs> and this is barely a grass type. So like, I'm in a. I have like, no ground resists. I only have ground immunities, and like that is kind of ass. Honestly, I would like to have some like ground resists, because like immunities are great but sometimes resists are better in certain situations because like you might want to take damage etc yeah it's not a grass type it's an electric type that is not that is neutral to eq basically <laughs> it's just not a grass type so my box has a ton of really good guys this was natty adamant this was like th i have not the only i put one scale into this guy and it was for encore this guy is like un unholy. Yeah. Um and then I had to put a bunch of scales into this guy. Speed and nature. And then I scaled darts because I delayed for Draco. Cause this was minus speed. This is like relaxed four speed or some shit. It was pretty ass. Um this was my game corner guy. It's like my box is insane, yeah. But, like, I just, like, the box is insane, but I lack, like, a couple of specific niches that I feel like might make some stuff kind of a pain in the ass and lead to me having to, like, sack some things in the future. Like, no grass types and stuff like that are pretty bad. I don't have any good hazard removal guys, really. Like, this is my one rapid spin guy. Uh... Yeah, makes sense. My death box was great. Truck force, yeah, yeah, yeah. My box was looking really great until like 121, and then all of a sudden it's like three mistakes from deaths on 121, and then two sacks on Lily Cove Rival here. I like kind of regret this sack, even though he's bold, because like I taught him to do a wing BTM, and like he was a tailwind guy. That I maybe could have gotten some use out of later with Tailwind, but it's whatever. The Pyroar is whatever. This is Ape Light, so like I don't really super care that I lost this guy. This is just Ape Light. This is sad. This guy was this guy fucked, even though he was minus attack. I miss this guy every day of my life. Um, this is whatever. This guy's whatever. This guy's kind of a sad loss, but I just I I didn't have really good Tabitha lines, I felt. Um, and I wasn't going to risk high crit AI. Basically, I pre-damaged to eject Victini into Hitmonlee. And regardless of if I pre-damaged or not, it was always Hitmonlee. Like, regardless of if I pre-damaged, it was always Hitmonlee. So I was like, oh, I can swap Pult on Fake Out, because this is guaranteed Fake Out. But high crit AI was Stone Edge meant it could be like Stone Edge 4% of the time. And if I swapped Pult into Stone Edge, it's just like fucking over. So instead, I pre-damaged to always be dead to Stone Edge fast kill. So it would just kill me with Stone Edge and I could sack. It was like really, it's just like so annoying. Frankly. This sack is also annoying, because it was like, I literally, like, I had two slots to deal with Mega Houndoom, and the only way I really could is, like, just straight up raw sack this Octillery. <laughs> it was fucking dumb. Um. I already know, essentially, what I'm doing for Tate and Liza. I agree. High crit AI is annoying because it's like a lot of people don't know about it and will never play around it and never get punished. And it's like so fucking sad <laughs> when that happens.
<laughs> like, please be punished once. I I beg you. Also, low key, speed scale Ursaluna with guts pops off. There, I was like two speed before, which is part of it. But like, there have been a lot of things that I just like barely outspeed here with the speed scale. It's gotten me like so much value, and I'm, it's like surprising how much value this speed scale got me. Because originally I used the speed scale so that I could outspeed uh, Nihilego on Shelly in Tailwind. And then chain it, basically. Because Guts Bear just saw kills everywhere. Um, well, burned. So I could like bait uh, Dragonite into Fire Punch so that Talonflame can set up a Tailwind and I swap Ursaluna, kill, Nihilego comes out, kill. And I needed to scale speed for that. But Veto Crab is some ass. Um, if you have Palt, if you have Palt, there's a really Tabitha's Absol's really annoying. If you have Palt, because it'll see fast kill sucker, slow kill night slash. And obviously, you have Palt. How annoying can it be, right? But like that it is like it'll see fast kill sucker, slow kill night slash. And so they can go for night slash over sucker. So you just don't get a free switch sometimes. And it's like fuck. <laughs> Some ass. Oh yeah. It sees sucker kill in base. Definitely. If it doesn't, it would see it's dead, though, I think is what it is. It might be it sees that it's dead, yeah? Let's take a look, actually. It still does. And if you're, like, Dragon Fang, you'll see, like, kill. But it doesn't really matter that you see kill. Because, like, this is just a fast kill. Because you've taken storm damage at this point already, right? It's like, this sees kill. And then it can just go for fucking Night Slash instead. So, like, it's some ass. Does the score for dead plus prio stack with kill scores? Yeah, okay, that might be it then. That makes sense. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure Grammy got Night Slash tier once. Maybe I I know Grammy's gotten fucked by this high crit AI before. I don't know the situation cuz he's mentioned it before. Yeah. Well, yeah, cuz I'm plus attack with like Dragon Fang, right? If I'm say I'm like muscle band, like I'm not showing kill and like then you get fucked by it. Yeah. That could be it. This one's like rarely annoying, but sometimes it is annoying. You basically kind of want need the Dragapult Pokémon. Or like a really fast like Basque Legion or something to outspeed base form. <sighs> Kathleen and Nicholas is some ass though. I genuinely Oh, I was not showing my calc. Sorry, I had the calc up. Yeah, I showed kill with like Dragon Fang, but I was plus attack. And it, it saw kills after one round of Storm Chip. Sorry about that. I like switched to show off my box and I forgot to switch back. Um God, what the fuck do I do here, man? How many do I have left? I got this one. Yeah. Like I my TNL is pretty fucking simple, yeah. It's just double candy ape. I I so like I don't have much experience with that. I've had two runs past Surf Sim. The first one lost a very important CRR guy on Cycling Road and panic pulled Jinx because it was one of my first ever attempts. And then this is my second 
run past Surf Sim. That run got all the way to Maxi 2, actually. This is my second run past Surf Sim, and I pulled the Hydra, just raw 1 and 3. <laughs> but I think Game Corner Hydra is kind of nuts. Like, this might be as bad as a Game Corner Hydra pull gets, you would think, right? Like, maybe minus speed sucks, but like, I don't know, man. Minus... A t special attack, two special attack is like some ass, right? And this guy is still crazy. Like, he's just so fucking bulky. And that's why I think, like, Game Corner Hydra is just so much better than Raw pulling it. Because, like, this is my opinion here, obviously. These 331s, like, you don't super care where they go because you're getting value no matter what like the guy likes Bedev, he likes defense he likes hp he likes speed he likes special attack he likes all of them and even attack's not terrible like i have a pretty damn good attack stat because i'm max attack here right like like i kept crunch over um dark pulse in this situation because it just deals more damage um because he's got, like, base 105 attack, right? Like, he's not terribly... He's got the same attack stat as Ape, actually, I'm pretty sure. He's got a higher attack stat than Ape, right? Like... And, I mean, let's look how bulky this guy is. 92, 90, 90. Really good defensive typing, too. Two immunities. Like... You don't mind getting 31s in your defenses with this guy. And he's still going to do damage. Even if you don't hit your 31s in your attacking stats, he's just still going to do damage. Yep. Yep. I, I think, like, in terms of, like, Pokemon you can just get in the wild versus, like, game corner pulls, I feel like High Dragon, again, I could just be chatting and talking out my ass, but it, it to me... Intuitively, it feels like High Dragon benefits the most from just getting three guaranteed perfect IVs because you don't super care where they go. Yeah, Chomp Gudra probably also are pretty good from Game Corner Pull. Realistically, I feel like they probably should have switched Chomp and High Dragon, yeah. I think the reason High Dragon's there, though, is, like, TNL, Dark-type kind of thing. But, like, re I feel like they probably should have switched Chomp and High Dragon, yeah? I've never had Garchomp, to be fair, but Garchomp seems insane. There are so many fights where it's, like, if I had a fast Ground-type, this would be insane right now, right? There are, like, in Magma Hideout, especially, but, like, there have just been so many fights where it's, like, a fast Ground-type goes crazy here. So it feels like Garchomp's nuts, just from whenever I look at fights, like... I think the reason people don't give the Mega much credit is because in PvP, the Mega sucks ass because it's slower. And, like, speed is a lot more important in PvP when you, like, don't have complete information. And, like, about, like, EV spreads and all this shit too, right? In, like, an environment where you, like, have all the information at your disposal, the Mega is probably fucking crazy. Because it probably deals insane, amount, insane damage, yeah? Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wish... Frick, so, like... This guy's surprising. So I hit him on Chimney, right? Plus attack. Like, you know, whatever IVs. He did not come to, like, any fights until Magma Hideout, basically. Like, he came to, like, the Gauntlet right after I got him. And, like, I kept him underleveled for a while as a Protect guy, even. And then, like, once I got to Magma Hideout, like, this guy's... Typing defensively is just really good against a lot of the guys in Magma Hideout and stuff. And, like, I'm starting to see more, like, value out of the typing defensively. 
I've used him a bit. He's come in handy on like a couple of fights. Um, namely, he, it's something that lives double crit from Arcanine Hisui. Even with my like six defense, yeah. If it lives double crit, if you come in on head smash, because this isn't the sun. Where is Como? Right here. Because this isn't the sun. If you come in on head smash, you live double crit. Yeah. And then you could CC. And then I had rough skin Dredagon. So, like, if focus band procs. And the rough skin Dredagon actually killed Charizard with Rock Tomb, Zoom Lens. Came in on dual wing beat and kill with like Rock Tomb Zoom Lens. So then, like, if focus band procs, you just go hard Drudagon and you sack and get the rough skin to kill. It was really clean. Like, stuff like that is really. Oh, the other super good defensive um, things that you find. I, I taught this guy Aura Sphere and it just, like, dumpsters this relicant. Like, what can this relicanth do on Pyre Summit? Like, nothing. <laughs> this guy's terrifying normally, yeah? Because, like, Electrode can't come in on Head Smash. You have to, like, guarantee Aqua Tail, and that's not easy when Head Smash is 150 base power. Right? Yeah, he's scary, but, like, I... Could just go hard Como O and kill with two Aura Spheres. Literally does not matter. It was like pretty crazy. I bet you Soundproof guy is a little bit better than Overcoat guy. Because Soundproof probably gets you some interesting immunities on certain fights, but I hit Overcoat, so it's kind of whatever. But I bet you sound Soundproof is. <laughs> I could, yeah. But I bet you Soundproof's really interesting. I think Como O would be better if you didn't have to fucking scale Draco. Clanging Scales is just not it in comparison. I have clicked this move a total of zero times. I have one special attack as part of it. But like I've clicked this move zero times. I literally keep it for substitutes, basically, at this point. To prevent sub. Yeah, that's true. Um, so like, I don't know, it is funny that this is but definitely not the best chimney encounter though, at all. Like, if I were to choose a pseudo on chimney or jagged pass, I would take jagged pass guard chump over this guy like a billion times out of a billion. I've never even had guard chump. Guard chump just seems insane. But I mean, he's been all right. Like he's... Done some stuff that no other guys in my box could do. So, like, it's nice to have him. The Primarina Pokemon's insane as well. I scaled Special Attack. Special Attack was, like, 14 or something. I got, like, genuine, like, phone number IVs on this guy. And it's still just pretty nuts. The special attack is scaled, though, so. Minus, a, minus defense Slowbro fucking hurts, by the way. Like, it's so bad <laughs> to be minus defense on this guy. I, like, I don't think there's a worse nature than Hasty on this guy. The difference in damage you take is kind of unreal. Compared to neutral. It sucks a lot of ass. I like just got this guy though. On 125. This was my fucking pyre encounter too. I didn't roll exterior. <laughs> I mean it's not a bad E4 guy. My plan, I don't know yet. I've not really looked at it. I just know I'm keeping this guy alive so I can fake out <laughs> turn one and bait Tyranitar kill um, and get Trick Room off. And then 
like Jellicent Spout probably goes in. I have Modest Guy. Um, I've heard there's some like Primarina Surf tech. I think Be Sweet Beans did some Primarina Surf tech in Trick Room as well. This guy's so sad. It just uh like this Megalopony is such a good Pokemon, but with this spread, it is giga ass. It does not outspeed anything you want it to. And it does not deal enough damage ever. It's so sad. Cause I love this is one of my favorite Pokemon. I had it in my other run and I was like, oh this thing rules. And this one comes out of the box like never. Cause it's got minus speed. It's pretty bad. Anyway. Excuse me, sorry. Oh the Vikings game is starting. Let me pull that up. I did not realize it became noon already. I was hoping to like be able to beat TNL today. But like this is Kathleen and Nicholas is fucking me up. Cause like I have to imagine I have to imagine that this double is not that bad. Clifford and Macy. Like, the Meryl's just going to boom. You just have to make sure that you can fast kill Passimian before Tauros can roleplay it, basically. Right? Like, I don't think this one's going to be bad. And then my TNL is, like, pretty fucking simple. It, like... I just double candy Infernape, right? I go charcoal. I overheat, brings it down to either sash or um it's always below ten percent though. Right. So it's gonna future sight and then it's gonna explode because it won't see a kill, and I go pult on explosion, and then I'm um, life orb. I show fast kill into everything. So then Latio Latios comes out, I Phantom Force, dodge the future sight, kill, I fucking kill you with darts, and then I uh, PP stall Hoopa, right, with you, you, and then cast form. I'm not using Kecleon, because that takes an extra slot. Cast form should be able to do this. Yeah, there's no overlap. I just need to make sure I'm coming on Shadow Ball here. Cast form does this. Right, and then I steal with skill swap Claydol. Skill swap should work on um, Substitute. And then I just Rapid Spin. Oh, he's Ghost type. Why did I think he wasn't Ghost type? That's whatever. I, I can still... Claydol has a physical move here. Why did I think I could Rapid Spin him? Um, I could go rock smash. I could go strength. I can go strength. I could go like rock smash. There's moves I can use. Secret power is not contact, but like rock smash. I just rock smash him a bunch. This gets weird though. Do I have any other, like, contact moves? Hmm. Is Claydol a good seal here? Surely I have a move that can... Why did I... For some reason, I was like, oh, I can just rapid spin this guy until... I steal his item. I can't do that. I mean, my move set after this doesn't matter, right? I can go, like, literally fucking Rock Tomb, yeah? And now that I'm faster than him, I can just Rock Smash, right? Oh, I can't even Rock Smash. Wait. Can Claydol not do this? Wait a second. 
I thought I could, but maybe I actually have to use Kecleon. Does Magician work on special attacks, or is it just, like, contact? Oh, it's just an attack. It doesn't have to be... Does it... Does it have to be contact? Okay, it doesn't have to be contact. Never mind. It's just any move. When a Pokemon with Magician hits another Pokemon with a damaging move, it will steal the held item of the Pokemon that it hit. Magician will not activate if the user already has a held item. Okay. This is fine. I can just like literally spam Earth Power and like Psychic. I could even go like fucking Rock Tomb here, yeah. I think I do go Rock Tomb. Once. This is weird. Do I have a physical move I could use? I really don't. Punish for not teaching Earthquake. Oh, it also just ends up getting Levitate anyway. So I couldn't even Earth Power it. I literally probably just Rock Tomb repeatedly, yeah? How's Kecleon do here? Oh, what I could do, actually... I go Psychic on the first one, right? Psychic crit never breaks the substitute. Okay. And then Psychic plus Rock Tomb should always break the substitute. So I could Psychic, Rock Tomb, so it goes for substitute while the sub is up, I Rock Tomb, and now I'm faster, and I can just fucking steal it. And then I have Leftovers. And since it's not role play, it can't steal it back or nothing. It's levitate. So that's the play. I psychic, then rock to him. Anyway, so that's that. And then I have Tapu Lele out. It's just going to see a fucking kill. Yeah? So I just sack this guy. I kill you with Phantom Force. I show kill. I don't show kill. But I also don't show kill to regular Metagross. Because I, I, if I scale attack, I can. But I don't. Some Metagross is here. And then I just like sack you. Because what, I've three turns of Life Orb tick, so I've taken 75 damage. So I'm at 175. Regular Metagross with Clear Body. Doesn't even see kill. Do you see kill? You do. This actually ends up Hoopa anyway. Because he doesn't see kill.
So I'll be at 175. No, he will. You'll see Zen Headbutt kill. I'm in Psychic Train. What am I saying? This is guaranteed Zen Headbutt, though. That's actually really good. All right, I'm at 175. Regular Metagross, clear body, guaranteed Zen Headbutt. I could literally just go here, right? And then I'm getting Meteor Mash after he Megas. I come here on Meteor Mash. I always live Meteor Mash crit, and I just kill with Overheat. And then I could go... This is a one-sac angle, yeah? I could go here to get Aura Sphere or Mystical Fire and come back here and kill with Darts. And then I could go here and U-turn on Aura Sphere back and kill. This is a one-sac angle because this is guaranteed here. Um, yeah, in Psychic Terrain, clear body, regular Metagross, after three turns of Life Orb tick, ticks, right? Because I show fast kill here. This will see slow kill. And I don't kill it. With only Zen Headbutt, so I'll be at 175 after three Life Orb ticks. And it's never Meteor Mash, which actually saves Claydol's life. Funny enough, because Cast Storm's a better sack than Claydol. Or initially, I was just going to sack something to this guy to get Ape back in. But because this is Zen, guaranteed, I can go here, and I get guaranteed Meteor Mash after he Megas. And I can go here on guaranteed Meteor Mash. And I always live crit, and I just kill with Overheat. And then we get uh, you. And I can just go you. And I could even fucking slow flip turn on this into you, and I just kill. And then I'm getting anything but Aura Sphere. I go you, Hyperspace, Fury, Crit, whatever. Doesn't matter. And then I U-turn back into Pult, and I just kill. It's fine. Yeah. Anyway, that's my line. Pretty simple. So, like, this one should be easy. It's just this fucking fight. I'm, like, lost on, so. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Okay, back to Kathleen and Nicholas. This fight is some ass, man. What the fuck do I even do? This, this, and then like...
Uh, we fucking kill with high horsepower. We're getting CC. Acro again. Like, we can come here and give this guy a fucking sticky barb. And, like, where the fuck do we go on CC? Yeah. Hey. What if we skill swapped Medicham and gave it Levitate instead of pure power? Wouldn't that be interesting? I would like to keep my sticky barb though, so like giving Crobat the sticky barb sounds like some ass. But like what else do I fucking do? See, like, this is the problem with Luna, because I'm just always getting a Medicham kill into this slot. So, like, I don't think this is a good lead. I would like a better lead here, but I don't have one that also just, like, fucking kills Excadrill and is not dead to uh, Crobat. Yeah? I do this. I give, I fake him out. I give guy sticky barb. <sighs> I'm getting earthquake. I can go Lucha. And something else. No, because then he's gonna fucking tailwind on me. Fuck. Um... Because, like, the other option is I just go straight, I protect, and I go fucking Lucha right away, but then, or, like, I do, like, double swap immediately, yeah? Like, you and Lucha. Right, so then I give you the sticky barb. <laughs> and he's gonna either iron head lucha or fucking corviknight yeah and then lucha's dead the iron head crit so like what the fuck um <laughs> so what the fuck can i do oh this fight is some ass man because again i could lead you protect Is this really a play here? 
Doesn't even does not do nearly enough fucking damage. Even if I fucking Mega Man. Do 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 do. Um. Nice, nice. Okay. So, like, the pr another thing I could do. Yeah? <laughs> God, you're just, you're just fucking dead to EQ, huh? If I wish I was dead to acro here. It'd be interesting. Hell yeah. The other option is I just fucking raw sack a guy, right? And I use so I could use Kangaskhan as my normal type on TNL and I could just fucking raw sack cast form here. Right? And then sack Claydol on TNL instead of, uh... Um... Instead of cast form? That's an option. I don't foresee Claydol being very useful past this leftover steal. Um... So, like... I bait EQ and Acro, yeah? Acro, EQ, yeah? Electro with a magnet, Volt switches on Crobat. Into Halucha. While Blaziken switches into Cast Form. Cast Form just fucking dies, yeah? And I go back into Electrode. And I kill Crobat with Thunderbolt. While Halucha kills Excadrill with CC. And the problem is Togekiss also just has Tailwind. It's gonna see Air Slash kill on me, though. And I'm in slot 2. Or I'm in slot 1. So it's going to be uh, Togekiss. And this is going to be uh, Medicham. So what if I swap the slots? Uh, this is Cinderace that comes out if I swap the slots here, right? So then I, you're in slot two, you're in slot one, and then you're in slot one. It's going to be Jinx. Blizzard slow kill. But I have a fast kill on Jinx. So Jinx is going to fake out Halucha, and Halucha is also getting Zen headbutted.
because Trode slot one. This doesn't see a kill. This sees a kill. And then Lucha sees fast kills, so this is going to fake out. Yeah. Um, God, if I had Galissapod, maybe that would be pretty good. Um, and then, so we're getting fake out plus Zen. Um, I can Volt Switch on Zen plus Fake Out. Or actually, I fucking can't do much damage here. Because I, I mean, ideally, I would go into like you, yeah? And then I could just, when you're psychic type, yeah? I could just kill with a fucking sucker punch with Life Orb or something. I can even go black glasses because I could fucking. Oh, look, I'm volt switching on this guy, right? So I come in on Zen fake out, yeah? I'm using way too many slots, though, <laughs> right? And then I volt switch. into Lucha, actually. And so then I kill Cinderace while Lucha kills Jinx with CC. And this is going to see slow kill air slash on Toga from on Lucha. This will see fast kill CC here. Uh, I don't have any switches left. <laughs> That's the problem, yeah? I don't have any switches left. Um, these guys just do too much damage. I guess I could go Electrode on Air Slash, because I've not taken any damage on Trode yet. This is fucking annoying, actually. What if I did this? So we lead Blaze again. We're getting EQ. No. It's not gonna work, is it? Because the idea is like... Oh, what if I do this? I'm here. I can't. Like, the idea would be I switch in... Oh, no, this maybe is fine. No... Oh, maybe this is possible. I 
So like How am I dealing with the Cinderace, right? And the problem also becomes... Right? I would like... In Tailwind, this guy's going to see a fast kill on me, right? I mean, because ideally... I could kill... Ah, uh, this guy could see Pyro Ball fast kill on me too, though. Not Zen. What did I have he was seeing Zen fast kill on? I, I think I just missed it. That he was seeing Pyro Ball. Or was it like Ape or something? Because like you, right? Teaching Corviknight the Tailwind TM would go pretty hard here, but that seems like a, feels like a waste of a TM, yeah. Cause I go Corv and you. I guess this guy isn't gonna Tailwind, is he? He's gonna randomly target Acro or other stuff because I don't outspeed Exca. So I need a guy that outspeeds Exca that's just like fucking dead to EQ. Boop, 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 doo, doo, doo. I don't have one. I do, but you're just dead to acro, so it doesn't even fucking matter. Hey? Um... Like, I, I think this is the best start I have, but, like, it goes fucking nowhere immediately, right? Because, like, okay, I'm here. I, I'm baiting CC here, right? And acro here. I can give him sticky barb, right? Actually, if I get crit by CC, I'm like, no, because even with fucking sticky barb here, this guy just sees acro kill against me. Now, when I take a CC, 
It's like I can't even swap Lucha in on CC. Right? <sighs> to like, try and fucking kill this guy. I like, have to swap in a ghost type on CC. Hey? This is an option. The problem then is Crobat's not going to tailwind. Because none of my guys are faster than Medicham is the problem. Unless I go here. Yeah. Mm, what if I do this? On CC. Right? Crobat is now going to Tailwind. And he's going to CC. I can actually come here on CC and I fucking live crit, yeah? Do I even need the sticky barb crowbat then? Because without flying gem, he just doesn't see kill anyway. And I can just darts twice. So I like. Okay. You're taking CC, right? Fast kill. I come here on CC. I always live crits. I'll even have like a citrus berry, right? And I use dragon darts. Yeah? Two darts kills. Just because it's sash doesn't matter, right? And two darts also kills here, right? So I darts and then. Crobat should see, without Flying Gem, fast kill into Como O again. So I protect on Acro and random move Medicham. Again, no kills are seen here. No kills are seen here. And then I darts again. And I get a double kill. So that's turn two of Tailwind. Now, what are my slots at? This is slot two. This is back to slot one. How does baiting go? It's always Cinderace that comes out. And Como O in slot one, it's just Toga Kiss, like Air Slash. And it's also just fucking random move Cinderace. Except for a Sucker Punch, but it could be Sucker Punch into Pult, yeah? And Togekiss sees no kills. With Air Slash. Because you're still slot one, because I swap you, and I swap back on the tailwind turn on the CC. Yeah, and then, so this is Kiss. I'm Citrus, so this is Air Slash. And 94, I'm at like 30%. This can be Pyro Ball, but this is Zen or Iron Head.
Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. But I need to swap in on Air Slash plus Random Move Cinderace. The problem is, so like if I get crit, this can be Pyro Ball. The fact that this can be Pyro Ball, like, kind of sucks. Because otherwise, like, a Steel type would be insane here. Yeah? Also, this could just be Sucker into Pult. It's like, I'm... How am I going to control Cinderace? Right? Because turn one of Tailwind, I darts. Turn two of Tailwind, I kill. So this is turn three of Tailwind. I need something that comes on Air Slash on every move. Um, you do not. I guess you do, right? If you get crit, you eat a Citrus. But then it's still fucking random between Zen Headbutt and like Iron Head, and that's not good. Like, how am I... I can't really bait this Cinderace out into good moves. Um, this is Zen, CC, and Acro. Do I have anything that switches into that shit? Not really. I could just raw sack cast form here. The problem is, is if cast form just dies to CC, then or dies to Acro, then... Like, Pult is taking a fucking Medicham Zen, right? So I need a guy that, like, doesn't die to Acro to sack. So, like, this is not an option. Um... So I kind of feel like it... If I could just sack a guy to, like, guarantee something here. See. Uh... And, like, I don't have an Encore guy that can, like, slow Encore into... Tailwind, right? Because, like, Prim takes a CC and is just dead to fucking Thunder Punch, yeah? I feel like this is close, though. <laughs> the problem is they just have a fucking Tailwind going. Instead of killing Crobat immediately,
Because I can like take two turns to double kill. Or I can Phantom Force Medicham down to Sash. But then I need a switch. Hello, Frosted Venom. And the like acro plus whatever, right? It's like I can get the Cinderace out, but what the fuck is the Cinderace gonna do? Yeah? It's doing it can click any of its four moves. So then how do you kill it? Uh, we're getting Air Slash and then any of these three moves into the Coma O slot. The fact that it can be Pyro Ball is some ass. And also Air Slash does an insane amount of damage. Um, see, I don't take a lot of damage here, right? But I take a lot of damage here. It's like crit, it's 70%, and then like, these crits are a ton, so like, I'm just dead to double crit in this situation. I need to take a little bit of damage, otherwise I'm not baiting properly. Right? Because I need this to be like zen. Would be ideal. But... Well, actually, if I take no damage, this is just sucker. Right? And then... Cause like I could just sack cast form or whatever on the CC, yeah, and then I go back to you, and you're not baiting any kills is the problem. You're only baiting you, so then I could just get like Zen flinched here when I try to kill. So it's not gonna work. I'm just, like, dead. Lantern's just dead to, like, double crit. And the thing is, is it's, like, Cinderace is, like, 50-50 to just, like, sucker Dragapult here, yeah?
I didn't think about this, but this is an option. I don't have many of these. But on the CC, here, Lucha never dead to crit, yeah? So I can unburden by going Jaboka Berry. Right? Let's fucking go. What was that? A 97 yard touchdown? Holy. Oh, beautiful. Okay, this is actually an option, right? I Jaboka Berry on the CC. I am now faster than both. Yeah? Oh, no. Because this isn't going to tailwind. Like, I'm faster, yeah, but he's not going to tailwind. He's going to go for slow kill acro here, so this doesn't work. Damn, I thought I was slick with it. I thought I was slick with it. What if I do this? I go into a ghost here. Right? I'm getting CC here plus Tailwind. No, because this guy's also going to see the fucking Tailwind boost and be way faster than me. Ah, fuck. Um... What if you're Jaboka? No, yeah, you're Jaboka, right? And you break it? Or I darts once and then fucking Draco, yeah? So now Crobat's still up seeing fucking Acro anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Because it could be fucking Togekiss for all I care. But we're getting Acro. And it's the same situation. It's just Crobat's alive, yeah? <sighs> um...
Fuck, I feel so close. But also incredibly far away at the same time. Like, God, I wish I was could solve this fight much faster. Because I want to get my fucking Urshifu today, but this is some ass, actually. Oh, nice play. Um, what if we try to kill the crowbats first? <laughs> Sounds like a terrible idea, yeah. He's going to randomly fucking target acro here is the thing. Yeah. It's like I fake out. And then I head smash you. <laughs> and he could tailwind. He could randomly. He's not going to tailwind because they're both faster, right? But he could just fucking randomly target. And just crit kill Kangaskhan. Fuck, man.
Like, again, I can get to a spot here. I guess you've only taken an acro, yeah? The problem is, is, like, if I get, like, crit here by CC, right? Does it matter? Why not, instead of Citrus, I go, like, I have Papa, right? It's never Pyro Ball if I don't get crit, yeah? Oh, Jesus. Right. And then if I do get crit... Two thirty-five. I'm at thirteen. I'm at one thirty-seven. If I get Giga Crit, oh! If I get Giga Crit, if I get Crit, it's never Iron Head. And this is always Zen into this slot, which is crazy, right? Um, but it's, I can guarantee never pyro, pyro ball with an Aya Papa. What if we mineral? 248 minus... 199 plus 124. 173. So, one problem is if we get a min roll crit here, <laughs> there are two rolls of acro without flying gem that. Do not see kill. If we get mineral crit by the CC. If we don't get crit by the CC at all, it's fine. Acro always sees a kill. And it's never pyro ball. Is that our iron head? So it becomes a weird problem, though. Does it actually? You always live non flying gem acro crit, yeah? Yep. If you screech me, it doesn't matter. If you super fang me, it doesn't matter. If you super fang me, it's a little annoying, actually. If you target me, it's annoying because it's random move into the pulse slot, though. Um, I probably have an out if that happens, though. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, but like say it's happening, I'm getting Ironhead Zen, never Pyro, yeah? Why couldn't I pop a heal a third instead of half? This would be a better situation if it did. If I had like a Berry Juice or some shit. Actually, I think Berry Juice is a flat amount. But like, I want to heal a little bit more than fucking a quarter, just a little. So I'm out of Pyro Ball range no matter what. Um, cause then on Zen Ironhead and then like sucker from here, right? It's like Zen Ironhead air slash. Like this is what's fucking annoying here, yeah. Well, I'm slow killing anyway. But if I go here, Crobat's not gonna tailwind is the problem. I need a thing faster than Medicham. 
that's not dead to non-flying gem acro. I could give you Sticky Barb, yeah? And go Ape. Right? Now, this is an interesting thought, right? No, because I'm, I'm need to switch it on CC. I can't go, like, Ape on this CC. It's going to fucking kill me. What if I go here? I'm back here. That's the, I swap here, turn one to Tailwind. I swap. So I swap here. Turn one to Tailwind, I swap here. Turn two of Tailwind, I fake out Medicham and protect with Como O. Uh, um, I'm getting fucking Zen here. Though. So. <sighs> This Metacham having a fucking Sash is insane. But this Crobat's also fucking annoying. With Flying Gem Acro. Like. Also, again, if I could pre-damage here, I just would unburden Halucha here immediately, right? Because then I'm never dead. Like, it, and bait Acro fast kill. So then I'm slow killing, right? But, like, I'm fucking dead. Like, I can't unburden here immediately. Unfortunately. We can go Honchcrow into this slot. The problem is, is he's going to see fucking Pyro Ball fast kill. Like, I need to bait a Zen headbutt is the problem. Like, I don't have any recourse here with this Sucker Punch. What if I go here? Non Sucker. Though, so, yeah, we didn't sticky barb crowbat. I come here on sucker. The problem is, is Arcanine is then getting a ton of fucking moves. Um, wait. What if I do this? And I go Arcanine on Sucker. Okay. We go Duraludon. With the Citrus. Bro is dead to like Air Slash Heat Wave and fucking Pyro Ball. We can't go anywhere actually. We just have to like hard sack Duraludon. And then we just kill with Arcanine Head Smash here. And then I can, like, protect while I kill with Head Smash here. And then I'm, like, baiting Psychic and fucking Blizzard.
Their tailwind's gone too at this point. I don't want to send this, but this is an option.
Unbelievable. Fuck, what the fuck do I do, man? Like, gen like, what the fuck do I do, man? Oh, Lord. I, like, actually, I have genuinely no idea what to fucking do for this fight. Like, this feels like my best lead, because it kills Exca, and I'm getting guaranteed moves here, right? And I can come back to you. I can double darts, right? And then I'm getting, like, fucking Cinderace here. It can just sucker punch my ass, right? So, like, I just fucking hard sack Dur Duraludon here. And if it doesn't die, I'm getting Pyro Ball, Heat Wave, and I go, like, Kasui and Arcanine. I fucking Zoom Lens Head Smash this guy. Because he definitely sees Pyro Ball kill at this point. Right? And then I fucking Zoom Lens Head Smash this guy. And I can come here. And I'm baiting Air Slash. Oh, if I'm getting Air Slash here, I can literally just go Magnezone on this Air Slash, yeah? Because, like, I sack Duraludon, and, like, either Duraludon dies right here, right, to Pyro Ball. Plus, like, Heat Wave or Air Slash, I suppose. Okay, so the problem that I foresee, yeah, is Duraludon dies to Pyro Ball here, and Togekiss used Air Slash. And then I just get fucking air slash flinched. Like, what can I do there? I can go here. <laughs> and that's actually guaranteed heat wave and pyro ball. Like, if I can guarantee non pyro ball here, right? Like, the problem is, is if I get like fucking giga crit by CC, it gets weird. But if I'm not, I can actually just go here and I'm guaranteeing pyro ball and like heat wave. Uh, I took 25, 33, 240, minus 2. Uh, 240 minus 25 minus 30 minus 33 182 I can't even fucking guarantee heat wave this could just be fucking air slash into his swing arcanine at this point if I get like iron headed here It does die to E-Speed, though. Right? So, I live Pyro Ball crit into Heat Wave crit every time. With the Citrus. Right, so then I would be baiting like air slash here and sucker, 
And I can just go back here. On both of those moves, yeah? Sucker does nothing. Yeah, I might be baiting Pyro Ball again. I think that's when I go here. Yeah, no, I could just be straight up... Has Tailwind ended, actually? Because if Tailwind's ended at this point, it should have, right? Turn 1 of Tailwind, I darts once. Turn 2 of Tailwind, I darts again. Turn 3 of Tailwind, I swap here and here. And then... Turn 4 of Tailwind, I'm here and here. And I got, like, flinched, so... Yeah? Tailwind's gone. But you should see air slash kill. Eh, maybe not. And you could just Tailwind again. But you're slower than me. So, Cinderace is going to go for the fast kill sucker punch in this situation. And I can head smash. I don't like this, because it feels like I'm balling out. But, like, I have a Duraludon sack somewhere, yeah? I might not even be seeing fucking guaranteed air slash into Como O if I go Citrus. I think I literally have to go... Oh, fuck, this is bad. Yeah, no, this sucks. Because if I do the Ayapapa thing and then Crobat targets fucking Dragapult, it's like super hardcore fucking truck. It's just hard truck. Well, if that happens, it's never... So I could actually go here and here. Hey, and then... Go Pulse. Let you die. And yeah. Oh, like, what the fuck? Um...
There's something better here, I think. There's just a lot of variants. I think this is okay, though. Like, I think this is fine. I wish this worked out cleaner. I think this is fine though. Right, because I'm guaranteeing Zen or Iron Head into you plus not guaranteeing, but close to guaranteeing that into you, right? So I'm getting, like, Heat Wave Pyro Ball. I can swap here with Citrus on that, and I kill you. And then Tailwind is out. Yeah? So now you're getting Air Slashed, and I can come back here. And getting a Heat Wave, so I can come back here on Heat Wave. While I kill you. Now I'm here. I'm baiting Psychic or Blizzard. I can Protect. And then, like, rock slide. The problem becomes... Yeah? If... Uh, actually, what I should do... Yeah? Is I should e-speed instead of rock slide here. In case I get blizzard frozen, then the sash is broken. And then I'm getting Blizzard Psychic. And I can come here and die to Blizzard and get someone else out. I think this works. God. This would be a terrible place to wipe. Oh, Lord. Confuses of minus defense. I am minus spadef. I want like citrus berries on everyone except for Arcanine. I'm going to check the AI doc real quick.
I'm glad I asked. I was about to run that. Both player mons need a sound based move to prevent X good real substitute. I could teach Ursa Luna Hyper Voice. But I don't feel good enough about this line to teach Ursa Luna Hyper Voice for this shit. So, Como Olid out of the question. I have to lead you. I can go you. You don't really need Iron Ball. But then the problem is Medicham comes in and sees kills, even if I'm like 85. Unless I fucking scale defense, then it's just Zen. Because I need this to not see close combat into Blaziken. Yeah. And only see it into Ursaluna. I could go to 85. And instead of Magnazone here, I go Duraludon. And if it's CC, it's CC. I just lose Duraludon. And I'm here. The problem is, yep, yeah, and Duraludon, no more Flying Gem. This is Tailwind. And CC. And like, what do I do on Tailwind plus CC? Yeah. I just sacked her out on anyway, right? I can go here on Tailwind plus CC. And then I'm getting Zen plus Acro, and I go back here.
See, the problem is I don't have something like Sucker or Priority on Pult. Yeah? And I can't go like Jaboka. Could I? No. It's not enough damage anyway. It's very unlikely to be CC here, but if it is CC here, then it like I just lose Duraludon, and I'm much happier losing Duraludon. Because has to take an acro as well. I don't like this open. Do I have a better open? I do have a guy that can lower Excadrill's speed. <laughs> like, I don't think Altaria can do this, yeah? It's just not strong enough. Um, and you're certainly not strong enough. Um... Like, I don't even live fucking crit here, man. With a slow bro on a fucking neutral doubles earthquake. Godly. Um. What if I do this? I lead Kangaskhan. And uh, Arcanine. No, because Kangaskhan's just fucking dead to acro crit. Because it's going to acro or Screech or Super... Like, it's going to Super Fang here or fucking any of this shit. Because it's not going to Tailwind because none of my guys are faster. I can go here. Whatever, I'm just, you know. Always dead to acro. 
And EQ. I fucking volt switch. In the Lucha. And then I sack you, and you die. I go here, I kill with Thunderbolt, and I kill with CC. So now, you're in slot 2, you're in slot 1. Who do I bait out? Um, it's going to be Togekiss, Air Slash. And you're in slot two, and it's going to be Medicham CC. Uh, so I'm getting Medicham CC and Togekiss Air Slash. On Air Slash, I can go here, and on CC, I can go here. This is going to Tailwind and CC into this slot. Or actually, I could go here on... How do you live in Air Slash? Do you do not? Okay. None of my Protect guys live in Air Slash is the problem, yeah? You do. Um, I could actually go here on Air Slash, yeah? Also, I just realized my fucking my previous line wasn't going to fucking work anyway because I was doing the darts thing that I did previously. So. It's just like kind of doesn't work. Um. Well, instead of killing you with Thunderbolt, what if I killed you with Volt Switch? Right? And we switch these slots. So Lucha's baiting on slot 1. It's going to be... Or slot 2, right? It's going to be Cinderace, Zen Headbutt, Pyro Ball. Fast kill. And I can Volt switch into someone. I need you to be dead to exactly EQ, though. Like, 75 works. Yeah, 75's perfect. I Volt switch into Lucha, who's in slot 2. You die, Trode comes back out. I Volt switch and I CC fast kill. Excadrill. Because I'm faster here. Mm, Crobat's dead. And now... Slot 1 is Lucha. Oh, right no. Slot 2 is Lucha. And I'm baiting Cinderace. And then slot 1 is whoever I want it to be. Faster deals less than it takes. Uh, faster deals less than it takes. So I can go Arcanine here with a zoom lens. And we're getting Air Slash plus Zen Headbutt or Pyro Ball into Halucha. And Arcanine is zoom lens and it will head smash Cinderace. Powerball crit, 64. Non-crit's 42. 58. Uh, it's always will proc my citrus. Mm, 
the problem is, is we got rid of Cinderace, but then fucking uh, Medicham is still alive. Um. So now what? If we go into High Dragon, not very much. If we go into Lantern. See, we're getting CC here. It's so, like, that's no good. I think we go into you. Yeah, we're getting CC in both slots is the problem. But it's CC slow kill on the High Dragon side. And Togekiss sees no kills, right? Do I have a guy that comes in on Zen Pyro and can fake out? Not really. God. If I scale defense here, it's still not enough. I have to scale defense and candy, and I'm getting guaranteed Zen, which is annoying. What if I do this, actually? Wait. Instead of killing Excadrill here, I can Encore it into EQ, right? But how does that help me? Right? Like, okay, cool. You're encored into Earthquake. That just kills my entire fucking team, yeah? No ground gem anymore, though. Which is huge. Right? But your mold breaker. I don't have any fucking ground resists. Only immunities. But, is that a big deal? What if I Volt Switch into Corv? I can be getting Togekiss, Air Slash, Fast Kill. Wait. The Jinx is sashed, though. I could rock to him, lower its speed by one. And it still outspeeds my Corviknight. That's some fucking ass, man. Also, it doesn't matter because it's always Togekiss with these two anyway. Man, this would be prime steel gem, yeah? Minus 90.
175. It's not enough damage. Iron Head would be enough. God, it's crazy how much less damage Smart Strike is than Iron Head. Fucking A. Because then I could literally just Encore this while this dies, and this is stuck EQing. We fucking double up on Togekiss, yeah? And then I fucking Hardstone Rock Tomb again. And then, uh, unfortunately, I would have to candy to 86. Or scale speed I'd have to do, unfortunately. But if I did that, then I could just kill this side and this would be free as fuck. If I still had Iron Head. Because <clears throat> then I, like, and then Excadrill's Encore runs out. And I kill it while I get a free fucking switch to deal with the guys in the back. This is really close. If I still had Iron Head, man. Corviknight is not very heavy. Holy shit. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, if I had Iron Head instead of Smart Strike here. I would just, it'd be one, it'd be a speed scale on Corviknight away from winning. Um, but other flying types I have, I have you, right? I'm getting Togekiss out, I'm going for slow kill here, yeah? So what can Altaria do to Togekiss? Not much. I don't even get fucking rock... How does Altaria not get rock tomb? It gets fucking earthquake. What the hell? That's insane. I have you. Oh, maybe this is the play. Dual wing beats outlived its usefulness. I don't deal enough damage with that attack anymore. So I go Hardstone Rock Tomb, yeah? One seventy five. And Life or Brave Bird does enough. Turn two of Encore. Turn 3 of Encore, so Jinx comes out now with a Sash. Is going to try and fast kill with Blizzard. And I fucking sucker punch it down to Sash. And then kill with Halucha. Oh my god, I found the line. It's just a cast form sack away. And it's killing the Crobat side first. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. And now Encore ends on Excadrill.
I can CC Excadrill to fast kill it. Well, I Tailwind with Honchcrow. And with Tailwind, and none of us, I barely don't see a kill here with Brave Bird. Oh my god, this is a form online. I think I did it. The best part is, is Cinderace doesn't even see it's dead to Brave Bird here, barely, so it's not going to sucker anyone. It's going to go for the slow kills. Okay, so you are 75, you're baiting Acro and EQ fast kills. We Volt Switch Electrode into Halucha in slot 2. 
cast form dies. We go back electrode. We volt switch into Honchkrone slot one, and we uh, encore Excadrill. We're gonna get Jinx fast kill. We sucker acro. And then we're getting on turn two of Encore. Turn three of Encore, we Rock Tomb and Brave Bird. Encore ends. We CC and set Tailwind. Um, with Tailwind up, we outspeed here. So we just, you know, knock off Acro. And then we outspeed here as well. And it doesn't see that it's dead. It only sees kills. So then we knock off and CC. And that should be the line. Okay, I think this is a form online. Who do I bring as backup? This line is so much nicer. I'm so glad I didn't run the other one and die.
Okay, so now we have Electrode. Who do I fucking bring his back up here? I guess I go you with Zoom Lens. God, who's good backup here? I guess Dragapult is good backup too, because it outspeeds everyone. So these are probably my backups. I think I count 75. Dead to acro. Dead to EQ. Perfect. Okay. Where's my hardstone? Right there. You get a zoom lens. You get a citrus berry. Do I have a rock tomb TM? Okay, bye bye dual wing beat. Hellutris doesn't deal enough damage anymore for that to really be that useful. Okay. Finally, another fight. <sighs> you just die turn one. I volt switch into you. And then on the death, I go into haunt. On the death, I go into you. Turn one of Encore. I volt switch to kill. Crobat always dies to two. Volt switches from Electrode. And Electrode is never dead to acro. It doesn't matter though, because it'd be slow kill versus fast kill in the cast form. This is always EQ. Volt switch into Halucha. You die, Electrode comes out. We Volt switch on Crobat. Again to kill it. While we Encore Excadrill and we're in on Haunch Crow. Um, Honchkrow is in slot 1, this brings out Jinx fast kill, we sucker punch Acro to kill Jinx. This brings out Togekiss, that's turn 2 of Encore, turn 3 of Encore on Togekiss, we Rock Tomb with Hardstone Halucha. 
and a minus one Togekiss is outsped by Honchcrow, and Honchcrow Brave Bird with Life Orb kills. 90 plus 177 is 267, so a kill by two. And then Excadrill, Encore is over. Halucha fast kills Excadrill, while Honchkrow sets Tailwind. Medicham comes out, seeing slow kill, and we uh, knock off plus Acro. Cinderace comes out, it doesn't see that it's dead. It only sees slow kills, doesn't see that it's dead at all. And so it's gonna go for, you know, Pyro Ball, Zen, whatever. Uh, I should double check, actually. If Honchcrow is in range of Sucker after all this recoil, I'm gonna double check that. Because if Honchcrow is in range of Sucker after all this recoil, um, I think you switch Pult. Yeah? And it shouldn't matter. Um, so he takes 28. Time to 254. And then he takes, um, we'll say he takes, he, I mean, he just has to min roll, right? So we'll say he takes 177 divided by 3. 177 divided by 3 equals 59. So 254 minus 59 equals 195. And he takes 28 again from Life Orb. 167, he takes 28 again from Life Orb on Medicham. He's at 139. Cinderace, Sucker Punch, max roll is 99. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. Jinx will go for fast kill. Blizzard on to Honchcrow. Over Fake Out. Because it doesn't see that it's dead to Halucha CC. Because Jinx has a Focus Sash. So it doesn't see it's dead to Halucha CC because the Focus Sash. So Fake Out is not gonna, it's gonna prioritize Blizzard over Fake Out. None. Just need to make sure that your magnet. Yep, magnet. Two volt switches kills. Hearthstone with Rock Tomb. Life Orb with Tailwind, Brave Bird, and Sucker. And Knockoff. Citrus. Zoom. None. You're level 75. Always dead. Okay. Excadrill sees Earthquake fast kill into cast form. Doesn't matter what I click. And I need to Volt Switch on Crobat. And we go Halucha. It's also Acrobatics Fasco into cast form.
We Volt Switch on Crobat. And we Encore Excadrill into Earthquake. This is turn one of Encore. Jinx has a Focus Sash. It does not see that Halucha close combat fast kills it, so it's not going to fake out Halucha. It's going to go for um, Blizzard into Honchkrow. Or into both of them, because it kills both anyway. So we're going to Sucker Punch. And Acrobatics. Because we are faster than Jinx. This is turn two of Encore. Okay, this is turn three of Encore. We Brave Bird Togekiss. And we Hardstone Rock Tomb Togekiss to lower its speed. Dynamic speed kicks in. Honchkrow is now faster. Encore ends. We're going to Tailwind with Honchkrow while we CC Fast Kill Excadrill. Turn one to Tailwind. Medicham comes out. This is Focus Sash. We Acrobatics plus Knock Off. We did not see a kill into Cinderace, so it will not Sucker Punch. Even if it did Sucker Punch, max roll Sucker Punch crit onto Honchkrow is 148, so I'd actually be dead to like two rolls of it. But Honchkrow doesn't see a kill anyway. So we're going to knock off in close combat. Easy. So we used Kangaskhan for the PP stall and we sat Quaidol. On Tino.
24 deaths. Quite a bit. That's okay. <laughs> One more fight. And then TNL. And then I can get my Hirshifu. Bye bye, cast form. I still have Kangaskhan to do the PP stall. And Claydol to steal the leftovers, and then Claydol is just an easy sack. This thing is giga ass. I'd rather have Fake Out with Kangaskhan than like have a Claydol. This thing is some giga ass. Okay, so we need to fast kill Pasumian. Turn one. Which should be free, because we just get a free Tailwind, yeah? Misty Explosion might deal two damage. Does it matter? No, oh, it might deal two damage. Ooh, yikes. We need this Tauros to see zero kills here, yeah? And it does. Perfect. And we get Tailwind for free. How do you do it minus one? This is going to see Lash Out kill, though, so I, I got to go like here, yeah? Um. <laughs> Knock off is twenty four.
Oh, yeah. I could do that, yeah. Oh, yeah, with huge power, he's going to go for a move. For sure. So we can Encore him into Detect. While you role play, get huge power. And we could actually just swap. Infernape, yeah. With Black Belt. And just CC. Gold Duck comes out. And Gold Duck's going to see kills, though. Turn one of Encore, turn two of Encore, and like what? Minus one here. Uh, 88. Plus 169. Bro has jet, though, is the thing. He's just going to jet my Infernape, yeah? And, like, I'm dead to jet crit. So, like, what the fuck?
So what? Uh, turn one, tailwind. Turn two, kill. Turn three, kill. Turn four, kill. So it should be. And this guy's just going to use roleplay every time. The problem is, is if I CC, he's going to start seeing kills, yeah? So I kind of can't just CC on Greninja. So, like, I don't think this is the play. I think what I do is I have somebody else eat the Intim, yeah? Is that I'm not Intimed? Oh wait, it's not going to jet me. I don't see a kill. So what if instead... I Tailwind, Haunch Growth, turn one. I lead whatever. Yeah? I Tailwind, Haunch Growth, turn one. I swap Lucha. Um, with, um, huge power. This guy just sees kills into Honchcrow. So he will not detect, and I can Encore him. That's turn one of Encore. Well, I swap Ape. Toro's role plays. Yeah, because Intim doesn't happen right away anyway, so I could actually just stay here. And just like waste a turn, yeah. Um So I Encore and I swap Ape. We have Tailwind. I kill Toros. I'm minus one. Minus one. I could even go fucking life orb, right? This is now guaranteed Zen Headbutt slow kill into Infernape. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't see it's dead. I'm minus one. I do 34. How much should I do at minus one? 88 plus 169. 257. I actually deal exact with Black Belt here, and he's not going to fucking jet me because he won't see kill. So turn one of Encore, I kill. Turn two of Encore, I kill here. Okay, and then turn three of Encore, right? So turn, so I Tailwind. Turn one of Encore, I swap. Turn two of Encore, I kill. Turn three of Encore, I kill, actually. So Encore is over now, right? And then I Encore into Detect again. I don't need Tailwind for this. Well, I swap in Haunch Crow. Hmm. <laughs> it would be ideal if Halucha just didn't get Lycanroc targeted, yeah? Uh, turn one a tailwind, on course turn two a tailwind, turn three a tailwind, turn four of tailwind. I don't even need tailwind for this shit, frankly, but it's whatever. Um, tailwind's over, you're done. We can acro, overheat, kill you. Um, and we're getting like, what? Like...
We're getting Grand Ninja, like, Hydro Pump and all this shit? That seems bad. Um... On the turn I kill here, actually, I can swap to Haunch Crow, yeah? And then just kill these two. And then t it fucking runs out, and Tailwind's gone too, actually. So that's just some ass. I'm just dead. Um... I could literally just go white herb, yeah? <laughs> now nah, you get unburden. Is this a good white herb usage? I don't know. When Tauros comes in. And I kill. I don't even have to tailwind. Yeah, you come in. I'm unburdened. I kill. Tauros is going to try and roleplay again. You come in. You see fast kill. Uh, it could be Excel Rock. So I should switch to something that Excel Rock does not kill. Like you. Now you see Stone Edge. Tauros is going to try and role play. I fast kill with CC. No, because Tauros, with all these CCs, Tauros is just going to see a kill here. So I can't do that. Yeah. I have to do this Encore shit, which is annoying. Well, what if we do this? We Encore Swap Ape. Turn one of Encore, turn two of Tailwind. And they both go down here. Um, this guy definitely sees kills, so he won't protect, right? Um, we Encore him again. Let's turn one of Encore while we swap you. Turn two of Encore when we swap to you and Tailwind. Turn three of Encore, we swap to Halucha. Encore is over. We go you. Encore is over. We kill. You come out. Tailwind is up. Because I show fast kill into both of these slots, yeah? And I CC you while I swap ape. And then I can fake out you while I CC. Like, this seems like it works. It's just three guys. But uh, I need to, like really write this down. Turn one, tailwind, do whatever. Turn two, encore, pessimian protect, swap ape, t1, encore, t2, tailwind. Turn three, ape, cc, Fast kill Tauros. T2 Encore. T3 Tailwind. Turn 4. 
Ape CC plus Lucha CC KO Golduck. T3, T3, Encore, T4, Tailwind. Turn 5, Encore. How many PP is Detect, actually? He's going to run out, isn't he? What move slot is detect? He's gonna run out of PP if I do this. Yeah, I can't encore him again. So that's annoying. Um, But is this, is this this should be a winnable fucking position, yeah? Tailwind's gone, but like we both still outspeed this guy, yeah? And we just kill with like acro overheat, yeah? And like Lucha's still in slot one. And we need a double CC. And this is my only CC I've used, yeah? So I'm minus one, minus one. Uh, Tailwind's gone. This is Greninja. Pumpy Ice Beam. Versus and pumpy in this slot. So we can go you. With Lom. No, you're just taking pumpy. We can go you. Taking pumpy ice beam. Yeah. But now what the fuck do we do? How about you? You take everything, actually. The problem is, is this thing's just going to end up water type, yeah? Using hydro pumps. So it ends up pure water. So we can Draining Kiss for 91. Right, 152. And then Magnet Volt Switch kills. Because again, this is always Hydro Pump. This is always Hydro Pump, yeah? No, this could be Low Kick. If it is Low Kick and it's Fighting type, though... Maybe it gets weird, but it should be pumpy, basically. And I go pixie plate. Does this go away if I level up? No, it doesn't. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'll stay at 81. Doesn't super matter. Um, and then, yeah. 34, yeah. It's fine. 
And then I Volt Switch. Kill into Halucha, and I swap Ape when I kill. I better fucking kill though, right? Because if he goes fighting type, right? My draining kiss deals 182. If my draining kiss crit kills here, this is scary. Like, this Lycan rock is terrifying. It's also faster than all my guys, actually. For some reason, I thought my Halucha Hol would be faster, so... So I need to find a way to get a second turn of Tailwind up here, yeah? Um, oh, what if I do this? I fake tears. And encore, and then I flip turn into you, or, and then I swap you. If it's low kick, I gotta do some stuff. If it's pumpy, though, if it's low kick, I gotta uh, chip. Yeah. But if it's Hydro Pump, I just swap Electro while I slow flip turn to you. And then I kill with Volt Switch while I set Tailwind here. And I have Tailwind going. And I live Excel Rock crit and can kill. Oh, this is going to excel rock here for fast kill. Most, maybe. It's either excel rock here or here, and like, I go here on excel rock, I guess. This lichen rock's annoying, actually. Oh, what if I do this, actually? Instead of going into haunch crow, 
I slow flip turn into Halucha. Yeah, and then I um, electrode. How much damage does? What if I go life orb here? Actually, how much do I do? Is this enough to kill? Uh, 229. Plus 18, that's not enough. I'm literally one damage short. With fucking energy ball. Life orb energy ball plus CC here. Uh, or plus fake out. Oh, my TNL is pretty free. Yeah. No, my TNL is... <laughs> my TNL is free. Um, I'm pretty close here. This Lycanroc is just annoying. I think so... I swap these two into Greninja. I fake tears, I slow Encore. If this is... low kick somehow... Flip turns, what, 48? Plus 185. It's not enough with Life Orb. Kill with Volt Switch. Um, so then it's weird. And I have to like chip. While also not killing. If it's low kick though, yeah. I should be fine. I want you to go Lum. And your Citrus. I remember that. Um, and if it's Hydro Pump, I can just, you know, slow flip turn into uh, Halucha while I swap Electrode on Hydro Pump, and you're minus two water. I can just kill with Volt Switch here while I have Halucha out. And I Volt Switch into Ape, and then I can Fake Out, and then CC Kill Lycanroc. I think that's the play. It gets weird if it sees this low kick overlap here. I'm gonna do this. Is that really a big deal? I don't know, maybe it is. This thing might come to TNL anyway, so... Um, if it sees this low kick overlap, I have to, like, fake tears Encore again, and then do my swap slow flip turn, which is not the end of the world, I guess. Because I believe... At minus four, if it is fighting type here... I still just straight up kill with Magnet Volt Switch, so that's the plan. Ah, oh, lord. This fight is not hard, but it's, like, spooky, I guess, is a good way to put it. Also, Honchkrow, the past couple of fights, been kind of nice. Um, we have Azu, Prim. You want to keep that? Oh, I need Ape. Huh. That guy's a little important. Uh, we want no item on you. I mean, your item kind of doesn't matter.
black belt. Um, citrus magnets. Okay, let's see. Let's run through it one more time. You can do whatever. You're going to explode. You set tailwind. This tailwind honestly doesn't matter. It's just something to do. Um, with huge power, you see kills. So you're going to protect. So I can encore. You see no kills into either of us. So you're going to role play. So I can swap ape and kill with CC. Let's turn. So turn one of encore, I swap ape. Turn two of encore, I CC. Turn three of encore. Uh, it sees, you know, it's going to be Zen into either slot. Doesn't see it's dead. Uh, black belt CC 169, and then I'm minus one from Intim. Plus 88, which is exact, yeah? 257, yep, that is exact. So I kill. Tailwind and Encore end. I am faster than Passimian with both of my guys. So I can acro and overheat. And then minus one, minus one Halucha is getting fast kill, Greninja, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump. And I go Azu. And at minus two, minus two here, I'm still getting only Hydro Pump in the ape slot. So I can swap into Primarina. It doesn't really matter what moves I'm getting here, honestly. I can just hard go these two. And then I slow Encore and Fake Tears. If it is um, low kick, I Fake Tears and Encore again before I swap Electrode and slow flip turn into Halucha. Electrode then fast kills with Bolt Switch. He's minus two or he's minus four in the event that he is, uh, you know, fighting type here. And in the ape, so then Infernape can fake out Lycanroc, while Halucha kills with CC. So you want no item, citrus, because your item doesn't matter. Black belt, your lum, your citrus, your magnet. Okay, you have fake tears, you have encore, you have volt switch, you have fake out. Life orb, dark gem, life orb, expert belt, and this is sash, and I kill it with acro. Plus overheat, he has no priority. I guess I could kill Meryl to save 2 HP, huh? Good idea. Every fight in here has terrified me. This is the last one, though. None. Citrus, because you're not using any attacks. You need black belts. Oh, oh wait, I do need Tailwind. Okay, I was like, do I actually not outspeed Tauros? And I don't. I actually do need Tailwind to outspeed the Tauros here with Infernape. So I was like, oh, I can just lay this for no reason. It's like, actually, I do need Tailwind to outspeed Tauros. That's what it was. So you Tailwind, you kill Azu. Um, you Encore Detect while I swap to you. Tauros roleplays, you CC Tauros to kill it. 
And then we double up into the Golduck slot. And then Encore ends and we kill Pessimian. And then we just hard double swap. And this Tailwind is very important. Meryl Clutch up. Aw, oh, damn. Too bad. Bye-bye. Toro sees zero kills. kills. No kills. Yep. And Passimian sees kills, so it will not detect, and I can Encore Passimian. And I swap Infernape here. Turn two of Encore. Tailwind and Encore are over. <laughs> so we acrobatics and we overheat. Now you could be getting Ice Beam, so we go here. And you're baiting only Pump, so we go here. We fake Tears, and we Encore. Okay, we got Hydro Pump again, perfect. It's locked into Hydro Pump. So now we swap to you. And we slow flip turn. We need to be Halucha. We kill with Volt Switch.
I missed it. Did the Vikings win? Ooh, they did. Let's fucking go. Ah, oh, you. This sucks. Oh, that's right. There's this here, isn't there? Sweet. <sighs> okay. Here it is. We're double candying. I'm going charcoal. This guy still outspeeds me. He's going to fast kill future sight over stealth rock. And we overheat. He's not going to see any kills. He's going to be below 10%. Guaranteed explosion. Plus 10. Let's double check. Less than 10% HP, plus 10, plus 10 for explosion. We go Pult. We are Life Orb. We kill with Phantom Force here to dodge the future site. So, you know, the, the turn one, the explosion, we swap here, immune. We see fast kills on everything. So we Phantom Force to dodge the future sight. And then we Dragon Dart Zoroark. And we have Hoopa coming out. Oh, this is annoying. Look at this. There's one roll of hyperspace hole. How annoying is that? It's most likely Shadow Ball. I like actually can't because I'll be risking this hyperspace hole every time. So I was like, oh, I can just do that. Okay. Well, this is annoying. I have two more candies left to get. So that would leave me four for E4 if I don't use any more. That kind of sucks. Because I might want a candy Shifu for C4. Is this a worthwhile heart scale? I feel like it is. And HP. Two sixteen. I think I scale HP here, genuinely. So here's part of it. Okay. So if I deal damage to a Kyogre, right, and sack, okay? And I'm choice banned here. I think I need 31 HP and like 31 Spadef for this. But I out damage. If I'm like my 7 HP here, 
I actually don't out damage. So like I need 31 HP for this, but like and 31 spadef, yeah. But I out damage here. I kill. I out damage here. Right? And this doesn't have swift swim yet. And it's not mega. So I out damage here as well. And it actually literally just gets me Barrascuta as faster. Now, I would literally have to fucking scale everything except for his special attack on this guy. But, like, I just live crit and then I just kill with darts. This is all be. I'd have to scale HP though, anyway. Right? So it's like, look at all these fucking scales I would need. One, two, three, four. More scales into this guy. <laughs> Holy. That being said. Is HP a really bad Dragapult scale? I don't know. I figured out why people want uh, Lonely over Naughty. I didn't even like think about this. There's literally one roll of overlap here, and I'd be risking that every time. So it's just not reasonable. I could scale like Spadef instead. Which is another option. But I'm already minus Spadef. I feel like HP is just a better scale here. Or a Candy. With the knowledge that I probably can't Candy or Shifu for C4 Cavern. I guess I could do like 3 Candy E4, but that sounds like pretty suspect. It's probably not terrible to do 3 Candy E4. I'm going to be using Pult a bunch. I think I scale its HP here. I think that's the play. So now I'm getting Shadow Ball. I go Kangaskhan. I'm getting Aura Sphere. I go back. And I repeat. Until I get, I'm getting hyperspace hole here because it's out of shadow balls. And I come here, and I'm getting aura sphere. Once it's completely out, I go clay doll, and I actually teach uh, rock tomb. Psychic into rock tomb always breaks sub, and after one rock tomb, I am faster. So I can just steal with Magician. Then we go next trainer. We have Lele. It just sees a kill. There's not much I can do. I just have to hard sack. Like, clade all to this guy. To go with Pult, I kill with Phantom Force. And with Psychic Terrain up, I show kill here. Regular Metagross. With Clear Body, I do not show kill to. But in Psychic Terrain, this is Zen Headbutt. Kill. Because I've done three ticks of Life Orb. So it's never Meteor Mash. And it's always Zen Headbutt. Because uh, 270 minus 27 minus 27 minus 27. It is 189. Never Meteor Mash, always Zen. So then I can swap you on Zen to guarantee Meteor Mash into you. You always live crit Meteor Mash. And you fast kill with Overheat. And then we get you. Um, slow kill here, right? Pulse, Aura Sphere, maybe Mystical Fire if I get crit. And we go Prim on all of those. And we just slow flip turn. We don't care if it Calm Minds, because then we just kill with Darts here. And we're not 31 attacks, so we actually don't kill through Sash here. 
but we're never getting Aura Sphere, so we can go here. And we're always getting Aura Sphere. So we can U-turn into you on Aura Sphere, and then kill. Because we're faster. Hyperspace Fury, crit never baits Hyperspace Fury. It's pretty easy. I just need to make sure I have the PP correct, and I need to scale. I'm really glad I didn't just toss a scale into Dragapult uh, attack. Because otherwise I would not be able to do this without it. I guess I would have to candy. But that sounds like some ass, yeah? Um, so let's look at Hoopa's moves. Hyperspace hole is the top. 8 PP. Hyperspace hole. PP. Move. PP used eight zero. Shadow Ball or a sphere. Shadow Ball or a sphere substitute. Um Skill swap goes through substitute. Yep, bypass the substitute. Perfect. Good to know. Shadow ball. Um, hyperspace is the top one. So shadow ball's got 15. It's used zero. Aura sphere has 20. Used zero. Substitute has 10. Used zero. Okay. So these are the guys. withdraw them in order. You. Welcome off the bench, Kirk Cousins. You. 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 Go. I'm going to save in case I use these fucking wrong, man. There. 270 minus 27 minus 27. is 216 and 216 is never hyperspace hall never hyperspace hall perfect okay <sighs> okay Charcoal. Life orb. Your item doesn't matter. Your item doesn't matter. 
you need no item. And you can take citrus. I need to teach you rock tomb. Over earth power, because I'm sacking you this fight and I'm giving Hoopa <clears throat> levitate. So earth power does nothing. Okay. And magician is any move, any damaging move. If this Pokemon has no item, it steals the item off of Pokemon it hits with an attack. So it does not require, it doesn't say a contact move, it just says an attack. So Rock Tomb should work. Yeah? Would be pretty sad if it didn't. Charcoal, Life Orb, Citrus, Citrus, None, Citrus, okay. Charcoal, we can't eat twice, so we are we outspeed the Mega Metagross by one. We scaled it HP and our life orb. Kangaskhan comes in on Shadow Ball, always baits or a sphere. You come in on hyperspace hole, always bait or a sphere. Once it's out of moves, we can Psychic, and then Rock Tomb. Sub breaks, we are now fast. Actually, we don't end up faster, do we? Because the stat drops don't happen if it hits the Substitute, yeah? You know what I could do, actually? How much does struggle do? Border recoil.
See, I can't break the sub every turn, right? Oh, I can do it this way. <laughs> yeah, no. Kecleons can't do it this way by stalling it out of substitutes. But I can. Because I am... Uh, skill swapping it. Because for like a Kecleon to stall it out, and then it would like struggle, you would attack, and like it could steal the leftovers back before dying to struggle recoil, yeah? But in this case... I could just, uh... PP stall it out of substitutes, break the substitute, on the first turn it takes struggle recoil, and then on the second turn, it takes Struggle Recoil. I can steal the leftovers. I think that's the plan. So I Psychic it, and then I Rapid Spin until it is out of Substitutes. And then I Rock Tomb to break the sub. And then it can't... Yeah, that's the plan. Charcoal, Life Orb, Citrus, Citrus, None, Citrus. Okay. Okay, Azelf is going to fast kill Future Sight, Infernape. Infernape with Charcoal at level 87 will overheat and always bring it below 10%. It is a Sash, so I can't accidentally kill it. I high rolled, cool. Okay. It doesn't see any kills anymore because Future Sight's up. So now this is Guaranteed Explosion. And we swap here. Now we show fast kills to everything in the back. This is Latios. With Life Orb, we kill this with Phantom Force. So we're going to Phantom Force, and this dodges the Future Sight. Perfect. I agree, Bob. Okay. This is Zoroark that we just kill with Dragon Darts. Oh shit, you're right, it is Hoopa. Just kidding. Okay, we had to scale HP so as to not be dead to one roll of hyperspace hole. I should have noticed this when I decided to scale Naughty, but oh well. Now we are dead to zero rolls of hyperspace hole. We are only dead to Shadow Ball. So this is guaranteed Shadow Ball, and we're going to PP stall this. So this is guaranteed Shadow Ball. On guaranteed Shadow Ball, we go into... Kangaskhan. That is one Shadow Ball. Here, this is Aura Sphere. And we go back into Dragapult on Aura Sphere. This could be Substitute as well. Aura Sphere, okay. This is Shadow Ball. Two Shadow Balls.
This is Aura Sphere or Substitute. Two Aura Spheres. This is always Shadow Ball. Aura Sphere or Substitute. That's three Aura Spheres. I'm dodging Substitute every time, this is crazy. This is Shadow Ball. Do I have a sound base move or something? No, I don't. That's four Shadow Balls. I almost forgot to count that. Yep, because it's not substituted once yet, so it's used more Shadow Balls and Aura Spheres. This is Aura Sphere or Substitute. This is the first Substitute. This is Shadow Ball. This is Aura Sphere. This is Shadow Ball. I just want to double check my PP stalling. It has 15 Shadow Balls, 20 Aura Spheres, and 8 Hyperspace Holes, because Hyperspace Hole is the first move slot in the documentation. Sorry about that. Okay. So I do have that. This is Aura Sphere. Shadow Ball. This is Aura Sphere. This is Shadow Ball. Sphere. This is Shadow Ball. This is Aura Sphere. This is the 10th Shadow Ball. This is the 9th Aura Sphere. the 11th Shadow Ball. This is the 10th Aura Sphere. This is the 12th Shadow Ball.
This is the 11th Aura Sphere. This is the 13th Shadow Ball. This is the 12th Aura Sphere. This is the 14th Shadow Ball. This is the 13th Aura Sphere. This is the final Shadow Ball. And this should be the 15th, the 14th Aura Sphere. Okay. This should be Hyperspace Hole now. Okay, perfect. Okay, I counted right. Holy shit. Okay, first hyperspace hole. And it's auto shadow balls. This is always aura sphere again. This is the 15th aura sphere. This is the second hyperspace hole. This is the 16th Aura Sphere. This is the third hyperspace hole. No. In the seventeenth or a sphere. I almost swapped to the wrong guy. So the fourth hyperspace hole. In the 18th or sphere. The fifth hyperspace hole. And the 19th Aura Sphere. This is the 6th Hyperspace Hall. This is the 20th Aura Sphere. And this should be the 7th Hyperspace Hall. Hydragon does... only dies to like... two rolls of Aura Sphere crit in case I missed 
because this should be that should be the seventh hyperspace hall. Second substitute. Fuck. That's fine. That should be its final hyperspace hole. Yep, three substitutes. Four substitutes. Five substitutes. Six substitutes. Seven substitutes. Eight substitutes. Nine substitutes. This should be its last substitute, and I'm going to break it on this turn as well with Rock Tomb. Should be its 10th substitute. Should be out of PP now. And since I skill swapped, I was able to stall it this way. Because now it can't magician back the leftovers with struggle. I could, Bob, but why would I do that? Okay, we got the leftovers. Okay, we are dead to Tapu Lele. Uh, and we really don't have a way back into Pult other than just hard sacking something. So we're gonna sack Quite All. Phantom Force. The pause before I vanished scared the shit out of me. Cool. 
So we see fast kill onto Latias with darts. We do not see kill on a regular Metagross. So this is Metagross. In Psychic Terrain, regular Metagross. It's clear body still, not tough claws. 189, max roll Meteor Mash, 172. This is always Zen Headbutt. So on Zen Headbutt, we can go here. And Tough Claws, Mega Metagross, Meteor Mash, Infernape always lives. This guarantees Meteor Mash. We can't eat twice to outspeed. We are holding the charcoal. We always live. And we kill with overheat. Yeah, you're right, Grammy. Dang. This is Latias. It sees a kill. Um, some rolls of Aura Sphere, every roll of Dragon Pulse. So we go to Primarina. Cool. Uh, this can Calm Mind. I don't care if it Calm Minds. We slow flip turn. I could have gone hard pulp, honestly, because even if it mystical fired, it was whatever. But this is better. And we see a kill with dragon darts. Not Draco Meteor, dragon darts. So, we are not 31 attack. If we were 31 attack, we could kill this Hoopa through Sash. But we are not. We are never baiting Aura Sphere, though. So we can come here. Perfect. This is always Aura Sphere. Finally. Oh. Thanks, Bach Nation. Twenty-five deaths is too many for my liking, but whatever.
This old man right here, yeah? I'll think of something. Do I check the nature and stuff first, or do I level it up? What do you think, Bob? Or anyone? Okay. I'll at least get it to 50. To where it evolves. I am live. It's true, Bob is playing Turtle right now. Pretty evil. Dynamic Punch seems like a fucking joke. This is a TM. Rapid Strike, okay. This is the one I wanted. Yo. Hey. That's a good Urshifu. I wanted this one because when I played through this game casually, Bach Nation, I used Dark Shifu. So I wanted to try Water Shifu. I will take this for sure. Yo, hell yeah, Ordo. Oh, gosh, I'm... This guy gets put to cap immediately. Yep, you take jet for sure.
Am I ever clicking scary face on this guy? Probably not. Yeah. Am I ever clicking iron head on this guy is the other question? Probably not, yeah. For fairy types? Like, I don't... This, this seems like a bad idea. I could just teach poison jab if I want to kill a fairy type, yeah? Nah, coaching is cap. This guy seems pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> you just get this shit for free? Oh, that's insane. You don't even have to do a battle for this? What the fuck? Why? I've not looked a single trainer past TNL before. So. I'm going to be done, though. Long stream today. Tara literally just stopped streaming. Gosh, dang it. Did he? No, he's still alive. Why did he stop showing up on my sidebar? <laughs> 